Fam, it's just a hat. I know. Shit, that shit is fresh out the presses. That's fresh. Not yeah. Fresh oh, old the ass hat. That's not an old hat. Fam, this hat but you keep old. it one of them little plastic shits? No, nah, I got the, You must the, got the hat thing, yeah, nigga. Yeah, that. Nah, I got that. I, I, you lying, though. No, I'm dead serious. I got that. I, but you might have it, but that ain't on it. This is it. That's cool, bro. I'm with you. You my man. It's just I, a hat, dog. I know. So I'm regular. You Grant? like the Phillies? Nah, I like the Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like baseball, fam. It's just a hat, but it happened to match the little burgundy on the so lines on, on, the, on the shirt. It's a hat, dog. You had black and match which your black shirt, to, which happens to match the burgundy and your Apple Watch with the uh, Roly band. Mm. Yo, what is wrong with this guy? Man? He got the burgundy Roly band the Apple too. Apple Roly. Hmm. It's what you looking at. You got just, the Rapple. The Rapple. The Rapple. The Rolly Apple. Uh, that's Rolly before Apple. the Invisaligns drop. <laughs> <laughs> that's before I crushed the game with oh, my Invisaligns. Man. That's funny. Huh? Take that. Ish. Why are you looking over here, looking bro? At, Ice, but why are you letting Ish get this off when he... I, I see Ish? him, but I'm, saying I'm letting him live. See, I'm not, but don't let him live. I see I'm not even saying it. But don't let him live. <laughs> I see it. I see it. It's cool they though. Said you dressed, I said uh-huh, you dressed like clothes, that because you think Melissa Ford parking outside. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, your boys in the back. Yo, <laughs> is she outside? Let me go check. What's <laughs> 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 wrong with your brain, man? They you said look ish. good, ish. That's all. Thank I'm you, saying. sir. I appreciate. They it. said ish was on fire. What? <laughs> yeah, Ice is trying to Ice is trying to skip and that's all you be letting him live because y'all got the same energy, so I don't know. <laughs> but you know you know what we saying. Oh yeah, no, you was cooking. I don't know. Why you was doing that? Why like you was doing that in front of it? Why you was doing that? Yeah. yeah. Doing what? Like, you know how like you know how projecting, yo. like speaking like a man. <laughs> As opposed to what? As opposed to this little thing that you do. Oh, I don't know. This guy is nuts, yo. I'm not going to get hype unless it's a racial tension issue. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing got, that you got do. Got to defend my wife. Yeah, it's only like three uh, topics okay. that you really get in your, you know what I mean? Capitalism. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he he going to turn up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is somebody capitalism in somewhere? <laughs> capitalism in. <laughs> nah, if it's yo. some capitalism somewhere. Oh, man. Nah, you in there for that. The racial shit, capitalism. And nice um, feet. And nice feet. Yeah. Strippers. I get hype. That, goes strippers. To, that goes to nice feet, though. Yeah, true. Yeah. Why you look so good today, man? Just, man, I'm dressed. What the fuck you mean? I got, got on a white t-shirt nah, and some jeans. you got jeans. the fucking ain't my type of hype gel in your head. <laughs> nah, you got the full force gel in your head today, dog. Yo, you nah. old as hell. <laughs> Y'all tall. Let me find a song. <laughs> Look, he got me touching my hair. My dumb ass. Nah, nah, yo, ain't you know, my type of hype. You curls curling all the way up. Ain't my good. type of hype, The fans yo. diss me because you be looking at that. Joe, you look old as hell. <laughs> no, this nigga has not had a dream. Drink, smoke, pill, <laughs> ecstasy he missed out on. He missed he Molly. Missed out. Molly. He missed everything. Oh, he ain't man. done nothing his whole life. <laughs> Nigga's stupid, yo. What's wrong? Hey, got the but Bill artist, things. Makeup artist hit you right before you got here. Yeah, mm-hmm. that too. Yeah, that too. Your makeup artist. Makeup artist. Your girl be hitting you continue with yeah, the little yeah, contour, contour in the face. <laughs> Your nose Your ain't that skinny at the yeah, top. Not at I all. see what it look like. He got a, <laughs> the, the contour <laughs> nose, job. Nigga's like stupid, yo. Oh, man. I got the Kim makeup. Yeah, but I, I see you. I see you mm-hmm. progressing and moving. So I salute you. You out here, yo! Don't don't try to put me in your boat. My I, boat. I don't know. I don't wear swim. makeup. No, nah, but you're progressing and moving. LASIK Invisaligns. That's, yeah. that's just self improvement. I know. The goal I, is to always get better. Oh, talk man, to him. Man. Listen to this nigga. Go ahead. This nigga is tell moving. Him oh man, this talk. nigga changing physically and mentally. Yeah. Talk to and, him. And, and. Eight months ago, he's like, "Yo, I'm content with where I am in uh-huh. life. Very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. What you mean? Time. If you got with me, when I'm out, 25, hold on. Hold on. That's true. Hold. We oh, told you it was coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Finally, a real podcast. I said, talk about the changes that have been happening. I was content, and then factors change. Mm. And then factors change make you change. You right. I'm with you. I but, said but, it. But at that moment, you the was factors content? would. Yeah, I was content. Gotcha. That goes back to the happiness conversation. Uh. You could be happy there, but when you get some extra shit, you change. Mm. It's adaptation. That's what we do. Uh, we adapt to every right. Mm. You feel me? Pockets huh? a little fatter. You know what I mean? No, I, no, no, not that adaptation. Not I'm just saying word. life. He what got you, bigger pockets. Alex, what you said? Not a word adapt. I like that. I yeah, know. yeah. Yeah, we, we, that's Spank, we spanky will do that to you, won't it? Sheesh. Spanky. Spanky? <laughs> Yo, we definitely got to get an image to put on a YouTube screen for it's just old vernacular. Facts. Just, <laughs> Facts. <laughs> spanky. I want a list of all the this, crazy this, this words. Guy, the one we said you can't, wasn't kid with the feathers back in the goose. Or <laughs> Yo, that was, that's oh the one. That's up there. Yeah, that's, that's up, up there, there with Wolverine, yo. 
No, that one, no, that, we fighting up there. All right. Oh, shit. All right, let me put my joints on. Really come here to pod. Be with you gentlemen in an intimate fashion. Pause. Not like yeah, that. Nice t-shirt. Too. Not like that. No, nah, I'm, I'm just saying. Thank you. And the other one, the, the marathon joint. Yeah, no. Oh, it's fancy. Thank you. Give Look at this, the new thing I'm doing where I learn. Accepting I, compliments? I learn how to accept. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. I ain't going to give you one. He, he good. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, your friends. Hey, yo, you ain't turn around and say, yo, your turn. Yeah. Hey, yo, like, yeah I'm, I'm taking compliments. Yo. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, yo, cut this off, yo. <laughs> cut this off, yo, because I won't work. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll run out there and park the car for my list of four. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, round of applause. Oh, no, you can't play like that, man. Oh. I ain't gonna start that. You know what pissed me off about Chris Brown on one thing? When he put these 40 song albums out with a cut like this on it, and then this one gets performed at the shows. What's Tough for him to do a record like that at the show. New Ice. Why is it? Got so many other slaps that people want. Chris to Brown. Yeah, well, that's the problem. You, Chris Brown has been out for a million years, yes. right? This is not a B side or a C side. Uh huh. This is album cut. He do that for deep the core cut. album, deep cut. deep cut, right? And the way that he tours is why he can't do this. Mm. Hove could do this. He can't do that because he only goes on arena tours with big acts. He would have to do like a B side show. He has to do a B side like show, yeah. which probably means a smaller bag. So yeah. he'll never get to this. Mm. He's not going to do a festival where he could just throw this in a unique set. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. only get him by Doing design. Doing yeah, 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 by yeah. design. So. But he does, from a person that's been to his last probably five tours. Five million tours. Yeah, well, hey. Every show. Every show. Front row. No, nah, I don't do front row. <laughs> but um, he I'm doesn't. That front he, row, he, don't do, he don't do an hour. He does like an hour and a half, sometimes two hour set. And he break it down. Like, he do the slaps, the 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 hits you've known from the first album all the way up. He sprint, he start off with the album cuts. He do the feature set. Like if you're doing the new album, because he did the same thing with Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Like he left off a lot of records that turned out to be like fan favorites. And if you're doing, you know, you're doing that. That does he even do deuces? Yeah. But it's God. it's just a hook. Short. Yeah, it's very short. Because that's my other it's thing. That he won't do this record because of the content. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's true. His more toxic records, mm -hmm. mm. where he getting his... Those ain't the singles. Nah, because he did Don't Judge Me. That's toxic. He's no, done it ain't. No, it's not. It is not. Please don't judge me because I won't judge you. Yeah. That is not that's toxic. 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 Don't judge... Look what y'all yeah, did. Yeah, nah. Look, don't <laughs> judge me as <laughs> toxic. To what listen to to the lyrics to that song but the lyrics don't matter on, on his that was the third or fourth single from that project and the hook and the beautiful beat no I'm saying, just saying we're talking toxicity that's in the not, music that's not really toxic if you listen to the lyrics of that song yeah it's a little toxic hearing rumors what is, about me I'm putting stomach, stomach shit on thought. Yeah. yeah it's, it's nice. he, he being apologetic Okay. We'll Man, we'll what episode back. number is this? Yeah. 537. Welcome to episode 537 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, well-rested, highly favored, or lowly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Corey is somewhere. Young boys in the back? Yeah. All right. Good energy. Good energy. How's everybody yeah, doing? Good. How are y'all feeling? Good. How was your weekend? Oh, shit. The weekend happened. Mm-hmm. Yo, I hate 90 degree days. <laughs> I hate the heat. I it's was out, over, yo. What, I was outside what were that we shit. It was hot as motherfucker. Like what were we thinking? What or, were we th Why do like and why do New Yorkers get excited They'd when it's happy hot out like that? Because you just went through a brutal winter. No, it was nasty. That's it was, why. I don't like that. Once That's it why. get too, too hot, but, no, they be complaining. But, but no, stop. <laughs> they did not go through a brutal winter. Your last four winters have not been brutal. That is a myth. That is a myth in New York. No, stop, nah, it. stop, it. stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. This winter it. was cold. It was cold as a motherfucker. No, it yeah. wasn't. Doc, nah, this winter's cold. You could pull this up. This is a stat. You're right. This is not from me. Compared to the last, if you do the last 15 years in New York of winter, mm -hmm. no, we ain't seen a winter, really. Nah, the last no. three or four, I'm going to rock with you. This one was this cold. This one, we saw a winter. This one was cold. The previous And extended ones, yeah. cold, too. Fam, I almost fell once from snow. It is so much, but it was cold. What do y'all... 
All right. Hey, we won't argue about the weather. <laughs> you judging it based nah, on, yeah. on your slip rate? I'm just saying, it's no more snow. It's yeah, no you, more you ice. From outside, to barely the ever no, fucking we, rains we got some now. Ice. We, it got icy. It got icy. icy. It was cold, yo. It it's got damn icy. near three seasons in New York. But anyway, oh, I don't like it when it's too hot. Mm-mm. It was too hot. It was like a humid, hot. I don't like mm. that shit. That shit had me. Mad. I was depressed. I got depressed. <laughs> That's what happened. No, I don't, I don't like the heat. We need like to that. talk about that. Our that. moods as it relates to the fucking weather. Why yeah, you like the rain? Because I'm happy as hell when it rains. I feel great <laughs> inside my body. That heat was depressing. Nah, that shit is terrible. I like the heat. The sun was shining as soon as you wake up. I got to put the, the blackout drapes. Got to close them. Oh, absolutely. It's like, oh, brother, are we there now? So now my room is extra dark when it's extra bright out there. Mm. Then yeah. everybody's busy doing stuff. Can't Nobody's calling you or seven. texting you. People are out with their families. <laughs> it's no, just lonely. you. The, look internet, at lonely and the internet is look dead. At, look at these Fuck first it. world complaints, yo. Oh, my. I had to close my blackout drapes. Ooh. <laughs> Nah, it was it's nasty. sunny in here. Yeah, yeah, went what outside fuck? for a second, started sweating. Fucking reassessed my whole wardrobe. Mm. Do I have enough t-shirts for the summer? Do I have the shorts that I need? Yeah, nah. My girl played that- me with vacation shorts, <laughs> swimming trunks. I'm like, yo, I got three drawers full of swimming trunks. Mm. Yeah, but you wore those. Hmm? You're not allowed to wear them again? That's well, a different type of money. Well, there. I had I to ask myself that, that in private. The first huh? question is, wait, baby. bitch, you trying to play me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what you trying to help me, you trying to hurt me. Like, Wait, you, you want that type of time too? You know it's... Now, you, you know what happens, yo, when you go, I want to hear this. I want to hear this shit. Yo, you go on vacay. Yes. I kind of vacation a, a little bit. Okay. So you just be thinking like, yo, did I take pictures of these before? Like, you know... Is she don't post pictures? I don't. What are you talking about? So does it matter? <laughs> I got a bunch, though. I just don't be posting them, but I still So the it. fuck what? So it don't matter. No one's talking about you and whoever I don't care if I posted with. these shits. Facts, though. So. Can't be wearing the same swim trunks. In your well, I don't be trying to get pics taken of me in my trunks when I'm all you sleeping know, soggy. You what? <laughs> what shit, man? When you what? <laughs> When you what? When my shit all sleeping soggy. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm trying to get a, a fit off. <laughs> I be trying to be so low co- incognito. Here she go. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let me get a pic of you. No, no bitch. I'm not proud of myself. Out, yeah, I just came out the water. <laughs> Chill out. I yeah, gotta, man. <laughs> you got to pull your thigh shorts. Yeah, but, and take your nah, I don't do that. I'm a grower. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the water be having the shit stuck to you. Nah, gotta, nah. That's when they see the shrinkage. <laughs> no, that's why you got to pull your shit. No, nah. That's when you sag. Get baggy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <this nigga> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yo, we stupid. No, you just anyway, I went and broke some swimming trunks. And they they cut them shorter now. Yes, they oh, are. Yeah. oh yeah. Now you gotta oh, yeah. read That's them. the other part. We showed them some thighs. Nah, they building oh, no, them yeah. just like the new apartments in, in New York. Oh, yeah. Nah, you. And I know you was on your European bag. Them shits probably little as hell. I, do I have a European bag? Clothing. Have you met my cousin? Your clothing. <laughs> you buy all European clothing. Yeah. Is what he was referring to. Oh, I thought Amiri was black owned. It might be. I don't See, know. look, I don't know. Look how fast I deterred I him. <laughs> look, no, I, I, that's a lie. I never even thought they were black holes. <laughs> look how you just dumped Nah, but you ain't no more Echo shorts. Like, you, you, you ain't getting no knee limp <laughs> joints. That's what I'm saying. Them little shits be up here. The echo shorts. It's a dub yeah, for knee length. Yeah. yeah. You got you to hunt. Even regular shorts. You can't, like, now yeah. they make it. I just looked at all the Nike shits. They thigh shorts. Up. They yeah. Low. Celtics. Yeah. 80s. They up. Your thighs yeah. is up to par. Can you wear? Can oh no, you wear no, those. I, I, see, I'm body. I'm body positive, so I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna wear them anyway. If I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable. Okay. Body. Body positive. positive. Body positive, baby. What I just those all the words. What is that? <laughs> that means that y'all can't shame me, pretty much. Like you know, how some niggas that get in the pool, they won't take their shirt off, or they gotta have the tank top. Nah, on. you can't go swimming with the shirt on. Is you swimming with the shirt on? No, but I'm not taking my shit off. I'm see, I'm gonna, taking my shit off. Y'all niggas do that. Women y'all like fat niggas. Water. You in the pool with a shirt on? I know. have been. <laughs> well, and we all have been at some. We point. talking about today. No, I voluntarily today, right? jumped in the pool with my shirt. No, we okay, about but today, nigga, right now, will you get in a pool with a you shirt? Taking on? your shirt off as a forty-six-year-old man. I'm not sure that I've been swimming with a shirt on before. I'm you can't real. do that, if Mark. You weigh seventy pounds, so and you ain't need no fucking shirt. Maybe yeah. I was ashamed of my skinniness. Still taking the shirt off. <laughs> yeah, that's skinny me. privilege. I'm still taking the shirt off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm that. not skinny. You can see this bird chest. I don't care. I ain't skinny, and I'm still not. I'm still taking the shirt. Park's off. got about 200 pull-ups and push-ups in them too. Facts. 
Your shit probably cut the fuck up. I mean, a little something. Yeah, a little something. It gets a little harder. All right, we're taking this compliment yeah, and anyway. thing too far. <laughs> <laughs> we're going crazy at the top of the show. All right, we found out how everybody's doing. I hate uh, the heat. I hope you guys had a blast. And what are y'all doing for uh, Memorial Day weekend? I might go back up top. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Yeah, I don't know. What I'm that gas is no idea. That yet. gas is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that should make me think about it. Y'all want to work next uh, Wednesday? Or y'all want to take off? <laughs> what? Don't threaten me with a good time. Wait, the fuck you talking? What? I'm asking. Oh, nigga. I mean, I got to run I'm, that by. I'm on Park Stock. <laughs> what side is that? Whatever you want to do, boss. <laughs> Yo, I mean, you know, if you want to sway to. Now I'm boss. Off. I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now, now I'm boss. Boss? Uh, don't you Play do it. Play that, boss. You just got here, nigga. Don't you do it. <laughs> boss? I don't give a shit. I'm down, whatever. Young boy in the back. Yeah. They want a vacation. They want a vacation. I can hear it in their they voice. Told me. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, telepathy. All right, I so got. here's my last question for y'all. Shoot. Because I'm, yeah, I want to take a day off. But would you rather take off? Saturday, which is Friday, or Wednesday, which is Tuesday. Saturday. 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 It's the holiday weekend right there. You crazy, nigga? <laughs> okay, great. So Wednesday it is. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Yo, dog. A day, a hey, day hey, they, off hey, hey, is they, a hey, day they off. It don't no, it's not, no, but... no, no. Bring back that boss word, because I'm looking at it like that. So you get the off on Saturday and still come in with Memorial Day hangover on the Wednesday? Hell no, I'm getting my money's worth out of y'all. <laughs> you shit you shit me? Oh wait. Are you shitting me? Yo. Hey, that's he crazy as hell. They Yo, mad at me. Look, the whole room went silent. Quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Look, the screen went off and everything. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, I got a trick oh, for you, nigga. Shit. Yo, that's how you really feel. Oh, wow, gang. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this nigga cut the whole laptop off. All right, come on. Where do y'all want to start? Anything. Come uh, on, I'm going to get some topics in the day <laughs> since that's how y'all feel. <laughs> <laughs> come on, where y'all want to start? Anywhere y'all want. Anywhere y'all want. Uh, anything? Did anything happen major that we need to touch on right away? I don't think so, really. It's I fairly quiet. Kind of watch this. Everything's pretty quiet. Give me a top five introspective rappers ever. Uh, I can't. Hmm. Um, Joe Button would be in that list. See, I can't say it. Why? Because uh, every time I say his name, I'm not changing my mind Joe. about that off day, Parks. Um, what? <laughs> I'm serious. You... Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, there was a little list going around. Uh, the, the, what'd they say? Kid Good. Cudi invented it, right? Kid Cudi and Drake. Huh? Kid Cudi is Kid probably Cudi, on the list. Kid Cudi and Drake. Did invented the list. what? Not invented, oh. but they didn't I see say some it. people saying he invented it. The list? No. Uh, speaking about mental health, therapy, uh, introspective. And a lot of my fans were angry at that, which they probably should be, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wasn't. I wasn't. It's back to the whole evolution thing. Like, everybody has to do the job so that the next generation can do the job. Mm -hmm. Like, so each one teach one pass the baton type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Scarface. And I definitely DMX. am not the first person to talk about mental health issues. No. I probably went a little crazy. <laughs> I went. A you little, yeah. yeah. I you went. Lean, you I, leaned I, in I, on it. Yeah. You leaned into it. Yeah. No I went, question. I did it a lot more. Yeah. Uh, you. But I got to thinking when that when that went on, right? So I'm not mad at any of the new generation in the house people. See, this is what I mean by the in the house people. Uh, that feel like that about <laughs> Cuddy Drake and whoever helped to shape your shape your perception there, right? Mm -hmm. Can't be. That's where they got it from. For, for me, I think I started at Scarface. Scarface would be... The, I started at Scarface. Probably the... He... Yeah, he might be the first to really, He like, was the one for me. Yeah. The he, first he, one, really. He was talking about mental me. health in the 80s. Face. And I'm not talking about... Uh, Fucking all the shit from 79. Because that's introspective. I was but just getting ready to say, hold on. I'm like, not what, talking about that. I was just getting ready to say that. What you mean, like Melly somebody Mel? That's somebody? A, yeah. Wait, but but those are huge Mark? singles. I said Melly Mel, but that was that well, wasn't look, really introspective on. as much as social commentary. Which, Which is introspective. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I get, yeah you know. But and that, what, you know, what I was going to say to that is, so to the generation, let's say, before you, they might look at you the same way you just said your comment about you're not mad at them saying uh, Kid Cudi and them because that's where they got it from. Mm. You got it from Face. So you're going to hold Face a lot higher than that. Somebody right before you could have got it from them and be like, nah, you wrong. It ain't Face. It was from here. Pop. Pop yeah, Pop's yeah, but, I would, able, but I would be X able to have an intricate conversation with them, right? Like mm -hmm. for me, I out mental health most people's career. If I mm -hmm. can pick a year in my career, like 
I've covered this more than your I agree. career. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Scarface, I could say the same about, mm-hmm. right? Anybody before Scarface, mm. I don't know that I say that about. Me. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I just wasn't born or wasn't old enough or wasn't sick in the head enough to pick up on that. Yeah. Or it wasn't That's, their primary bag. Yeah. Like, it, you might make one song or two songs touching on the topic, but it wasn't like that. It might be a bar or yeah, two, yeah, but it was yeah, more it party like music social. And, and, mm-hmm. and social commentary. Yeah. So the so next name that I bumped into that I stopped for a minute to really like do some self-examination mm-hmm. was a name I don't hear often on the list. Okay. Biggie. Mm. He did. He did. Suicidal thoughts is but see is is the whole damn near ready to die. Yeah, damn near the whole ready to die. My mother got cancer in her breast. Don't ask me why I'm fucking stressed. Shit, even fucking what? Uh, uh, even the fucking warning. All of the story shit. Give me the loot. Yeah, like that was an introspect for me. Mm -hmm. For me, but. I think when they start listing these artists, they're talking about the ones who really stayed there. Like he, he was Biggie well, had so he many played, different. Well, lanes. he died. No, no, but he played around. He still played around, even he on even yeah. in his short career, he played around. What What was the playful record on Ready to Die? You gonna say the what? One more chance. That would be the only that, thing. that didn't sound Juicy play play on about. Ready to Die. Juicy Man. was introspective as hell. No, Ju- yeah, Juicy was introspective. See? See? Yeah. <laughs> I have Biggie on introspective list. I'm not mad at that. Top five? I do. Not mad at that. Oh, I wasn't going in order. Scarface is. No, I'm saying top five. I'm not. Oh, I wasn't okay. numbering. No, because you said five. You well, said I got to get to the end of the list to see where, where I put him. Mm-hmm. I'm probably number one for me. With Scarface, Pac, and X being mm-hmm. tied. I'm not mad at the M, Biggie. The Biggie and M being, M, 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 M being up there. Kendrick tied. Is up there. Um, yeah, Kendrick is definitely Kendrick is definitely up in there. the combo. Uh, yeah, those are mine. Scarface, DMX. Oh shit, Helter Skelter. For mm, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean P would definitely get in that. Bag oh my heavy. god, yeah. Rest yes. in peace. Mm. Yeah, that's my list. Mm. Me face. X, Pac, M. That's my five. I probably put Kendrick before M. No, I don't you know can't. Why I yeah, no. You well, can. He could, his list. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is he a yellow. You do what you want, but how? Cole is probably in there too somewhere. Not for nothing. Because if you want to start See, that's talking what I was about, ready to say. Cole, introspective, Cole's a sleeper, introspective guy. Introspective. Yeah. He's not. Yo, this he mental again, health. Struggle, y'all know I don't really but he's on a music level, yeah. but lyrically. He be talking about mad shit from the inner city, B. And how the inner but city is shaping that, our lives. To me, that's to part social, 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 yeah. social commentary. Which is interesting. Point. But it's shaping your mental fitness. Sure, sure. And no, Drake is Drake Drake is on that list too. Drake, look, he say things that no rapper should say. Do you guys find it strange that this somehow also sounds like most people's top five and ten? I don't. I think that that's... Yeah, that's a good point. You know They're what I'm not saying? Because not for nothing, Hove is also very introspective too. If you really Hove want to get down there. to it, Hove yeah, but it's too. not. It's not as consistent. It's it's more right, more braggadocious, more, but he can no, get but in when he go, he go. No, yeah. when he go, he go. When he goes, he goes. Yeah, that was all yeah, I had for for. That would be my father. Hmm. But shout out to Cuddy. Shout out to shout out to everybody out there that's just letting it off into that. Letting it off, mm-hmm. yeah. Right? Because I'm sure we're forgetting somebody. Because now, because because again, now you ask somebody younger. They'll say X. They'll say I would say uh, X, Juice World. Triple X. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's all again. It's just oh, where true, you're true, coming true, true, into true. rap at and That's what's true. hitting you. Because yeah. they talking about shit that I can't relate to. <laughs> Most true. of us might can't relate to. Mm-hmm. But these younger kids, they talking directly to them, mm-hmm. which is why they hang on every word that they say so much. So much. I mean, yeah, we, we did. A that. lot of that drill shit is kind of introspective. Hell huh? yeah. Yeah, it can be. It definitely can. It's be. different. Introspective means so much. Facts. Like sure. people tend to think introspective just means I'm only talking about mental health or something. No, introspective just digging in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, people think it means like the positive shit. No, mm-hmm. nigga, introspection could be somebody's going through some whatever they live in. Wow, shit in their neighborhood, and they gotta defend themselves. I did an introspective disc record. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, you went overboard. That's you know, how you he, know that guy is really in. sick in his head. You leaned into it, and that's one of my favorite just writings. Anyway, uh, yeah, shout out to all the introspective rappers out there. Yeah, that was a nice little yeah. uh, argument over the weekend. On yeah, the, on, the, on the internets. Yeah, I ain't see it. I ain't see it. It was ninety degrees. Nah, my fans was about to be on the internet arguing. You know, my fans was heated. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. You like the heat like that? Not to where I'm going to be sitting on the internet arguing. I'm in the It's house, on your so phone, you know. No, I don't no, want to leave no, the house until I'll cool down. Like, yo, at like six, seven, like about seven o'clock, that's when I come outside. No, I had to go That 95 degree shit is for the birds, my nigga. It's I not would. it. Yeah, that shit ain't cool. I would. The 90 degree weather hit, and even though I knew it was only for a couple of days, it reminded me how I wasn't ready for baby girl for this summer. So I had to just go and mm. there's a whole bunch of shit. Like the yeah, I went and bought mad baby clothes. Mm. That's that is what I did. That's what I did. I was out. Like, oh shit. These June is damn near here. Word. They got rid of the last payphone in New York. <laughs> Saw that. I can't 50th, believe it was still there, quite frankly. And 8th. They picked that shit up like it was a baby doll. <laughs> them shits ain't been <laughs> like no shits ain't been nothing but urinals for the past twenty years. I'd have used a crane <laughs> to get it out of there too. <laughs> Not wow. touching that shit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Wow. It was a urinal. Why y'all so ignorant? Yo, that's, 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 I've that's, worked what? in Times Square for a decade. I know I know what happens in them phone booths. I, Yo, young, this is, I'm not from New York. This is mad it. disrespectful to me. Yeah. <laughs> Why? This is in the phone booth, yo. Fam, because pay phones. That, I wasn't the one urinating stop. in them. It's evolution. The pay phones had a lot more usage for me than just a urinal. Oh, yeah, no like, doubt. Like, there was a... No doubt, historically, oh, for Aaron, sure. Are you shitting me much as I got lost as a kid? <laughs> no, in my hood, niggas had the payphone pay phone phone. number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Girls Hell used yeah. to call the payphone yeah. for niggas in my hood. You used to know certain payphones. such phones. and such the shit, out there. The shit by the mall, at this, at this exit shit at the mall. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I was sad by this news. I thought we were going to come in and cry together as New Yorkers. But well, Now uh, they got the new little internet stations that got the phone on them, too. You seen them? Who? Mm-hmm. They have, like, uh, they're pretty... I don't know about every block, but they got like a little that's, Wi-Fi station. That's a little Wi-Fi kiosk, the, yeah, the, the yeah, Lincoln yeah. YC show. Some of y'all in the airport are going to get knocked out over the little Wi-Fi terminal station thingamajiggies. They be hogging them shits. Yeah, y'all be going <laughs> crazy, yo. White people, you put their book bag on one. Uh, they got three, chair right three plugs. You're going to take all the plugs. Uh, Word. Right. Word, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Real niggas just travel with the extra battery on them. Y'all can fight over the plugs. Yeah, but why I gotta do use my battery shit as a seat in the plug right here? Like, that's kind of yeah, crazy. Somebody yeah. beat you to it, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Get there earlier. Ashley, come on. We can talk about that. Come on, let's talk about Ignited at United. Yeah. I was about to say, speaking of niggas getting knocked out in the airport. <laughs> I was sad about that, too. All, all the news depressed me announced. Why'd that make you sad? Well, I wasn't sad. That's good. Why, the nigga, we fly out of Newark. I know, I know that dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's Hey, that's a nice. yeah, come you be hooking the bags up. Yeah, yeah, me. He be like, all right, your bag is three pounds. Put it right there. Three pounds over. Go ahead. Don't worry about him again. <laughs> he got some pounds over. Yeah, he did. Pound it out, nigga. Keep, put your, keep your hands to yourself, I kid. That's it. Oh, stop. Y'all didn't see the whole bit. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah. Well, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> stop telling people to keep their hands to themselves. Or not. But if you don't want to keep your no, hands you yourself, you deal with what come with it. I've been coming in here too long saying some niggas need to get punched in the face. Mm, you're right. And now you don't want people to keep them hands to Nah, what so. I'm saying is if you... That was just my man at United, yo. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the United dudes be stupid, man. They do. But... You I shouldn't think, fight them. Well, actually, United got an influx. He got learned. I didn't research this at all. This is just off like idiot Joe Brain. United got an influx of money from somewhere. Somebody bought half or did something. Them, the service and the planes at EWR, Newark Airport, have gone from almost about to break down every time you go mm-hmm. and fights at the line <laughs> to nice people now. that know how to speak to people and presentable planes. No, the planes don't. Mm-hmm. The planes and that now. takes some money. They finally put outlets yeah. in them hoes? No, nah, they're United now. In the plane? United, yeah. United yeah. ain't the worst right now. Hell yeah. Okay. Got them I mean, if you get the good plane, don't take a short flight. I was about to say, yeah. you don't, 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 don't take a short flight. She still got no, the propellers no, on a it. A short flight, we still got the bootleg United in the back. <laughs> yeah, we got that for you. We, we rolling that out. It's for cheap, too. <laughs> they, they, uh, they ain't cheap. When niggas start complaining about uh, air, air, airfare, I be like, y'all crazy. <laughs> what? I want it to be an expensive flight. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, get I it mean, there. <laughs> get it yo, there. Hey, give me the plane that don't that has more than AM radio in the first word. class. That's the worst. A fir- first class seat, no screen, 
No direct TV, no movies. Nah, Give terrible. me HBO Max. The plane <laughs> need to step it up, yo. Yeah, Facts. You, Just you, short, you like, got niggas still getting on a plane trying to download things to their phone or word. iPad. Yo, step it up, America. <laughs> shit, yo, Fetty Watt was just on a plane and his shit lost power. What? Just over the weekend. He was on a plane. He was like, yo, my plane just lost power. They had the emergency land the plane. Put him on something else. Oh, no, you can find me something else ASAP. That's probably why he needed her to come his way. <laughs> Come on. That's a, y'all ain't had no wild shit happen so on the plane good. though uh, I like had a couple that. times where it went down for the landing and then immediately shot back up that. that shit is terrifying as hell Fam, I was sitting on the runway in Phoenix and it was like yo hold on it's a delay for a little bit because the plane is leaking gas find you know? me a new plane please I, yeah I, we I like hold on what you mean <laughs> like no 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 we'll fix it just now they Hold told on, us after tight. the shit went down and back up, they're like, oh, yeah, there's another plane coming in. We're about to crash. It's like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see somebody get totally irate and disruptive on a plane? Soon as they say, we're having technical issues. We're going to be seated for the next hour to 90 minutes. You cannot leave the plane. On the runway. Everyone just remain seated. Mm-hmm. I'll no. Be tight. Yeah, I'll be tight. I'm, I'm on the not. runway. No, no, I'm no, not. No. If I get that tight, there's a limit to tightness. Like, there's only but so much I can contain internally. Like, if I get too tight, you're going to know about my tightness. <laughs> yeah. Once you say that, I'm not just going to sit there to myself, angry in my head. <laughs> like, oh, man, I wish I could get up and make a... <laughs> oh, man. Make a scene? I'm getting a claustrophobic. Make, make use of that... What, what you uh, get up! Yeah, make make right. use of that exit Once row shut that door, that's your ass. This nigga want to get I'm no getting up. so bad. I'm getting up. All right. They got a marshal for you. I, I, they, I, I'm going to meet him. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh-huh. Pump it up. You can't. I'm doing something. I'm pulling something out of my ass. I'm pulling something Yo, out of my ass. Fam. I'm going to meet the marshal. Hey, mister. He, he will be there. Come on, walk, be there. Come on, walk me to the other cop. Come on. <laughs> that's Newport. what they do. You need a new port. That'd be the long walk. They take you. They won't handcuff you straight off the plane. They walk you to the next, the next <laughs> cop. The meaner cops. <laughs> I know. I did it already. Um, come on. What are you talking about? Now United. We off of that. Yeah. What y'all got? What's important? Uh, do you want to talk about song lyrics being uh, thrown out in New York courts? No, let's talk about Gunna being denied bail. That's okay, sauce, that's more saucy in our first hour. Okay. Gunna was denied bail. And they set a trial date for January 2023. That's, yeah, that's, that's ridiculous, whew. bro. Tell me why you say that's ridiculous. I saw a lot of the internet saying the same thing. Are you supposed to have a speedy and fair trial? Says who? No, but to them, in the case of this magnitude, that's fast. My little cousin looking at trial for next year too, March, and he been locked up longer than them. So and they, and they and they and they, again, it's a Rico case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so niggas is mad. Dudes, nobody care about. They, they go. <laughs> I know. Book at your little cousin, nigga. <laughs> nobody <laughs> care about. That's you funny, this, nigga. We talking about Gunner and Fug. <laughs> nigga threw his little cousin in the mix. Stupid, they, his paperwork is in the basement somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas should get a speedy trial. Why? Oh, speedy is in the eye look, of the beholder, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is speedy for the speedy trial. I think they should get, but that's not shocking to me because I think they're trying to flip somebody. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. That's enough time for somebody to flip. Yeah, you sit long enough. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's my enough, take on them this. Niggas start pushing them, them football numbers your way. Fuck that. You sit long enough and you're not making no money. All the people that depend on you, the money ain't coming in no more. Right Shorty now. done pop somebody outside. All yeah. of that yeah, starts yeah, stressing that stress your ass start out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me the amount of time that five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't the office, we ain't don't put that there. nigga name with my name. I didn't press that. <laughs> that little parts with white fingers. <laughs> Ice, that's not what I was about to say. Oh my bad. I was right. about to say, how, how much time if you go go up, do you expect your girl to be faithful to you? Five minutes. I was about to say it's, it's applicable there. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah. Shut up. Nah. You think more of that than your more woman. Of that. You uh, think more of that than your partner. I'm also thinking realistic. All right, let me let me ask you. When you say when you say you mean pop somebody or just start entertaining pop somebody? somebody? <sighs> entertainer. She been entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? She's entertaining. Why you yeah, doing yeah, trial? Women don't do what men I don't do. Swear that. They entertain. They entertain. Yeah. Sometimes a little too much. Then you got to find a man way to bring it up. <laughs> The man way, uh, a man way, not the man way, just uh-huh. a man I'm, way. I'm, I'm soaking up game. Doing too much? I don't have game. It's just some bitches understand my score. <laughs> hey, you do that shit. What you you you? I want to hear stop. what you're saying. I'm a man saying way nothing. to bring it up. You gotta find a cool. You way have to, to do find it. a cool yeah. way to bring it up. Enlighten me. Look now, now y'all super talkative. 
I want to hear an example. Yeah, an example, hear. an example, an example. Well, I've had all the conversations before. I t- I've said on this podcast, I've had a fight about you fucking the girl that was over for company thinking that I wanted you to fuck the girl. I've had that fight. I've had the fight of, not fight, that's the bad word. Right. Uh, debate. debate. <laughs> <laughs> Heated debate. Eh, it wasn't heated. <laughs> like, this is either going to change or something else is going to change. Mm. I've had to talk about uh, the hugs at the party. Hugs at the party is a lot. You got to double back. Hit your table. Hit your spot. Do it. I mean, it's the way to do it. Hit your spot first, then link up. But on the walk in, just we just now. Nah, are you popular? I'm not mad that you're popular. <laughs> <laughs> but that but, hug, the hug was a little too much hugging? No, 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 no. No, the frequency. It was uh, too many. If I come in, I just want to get to the spot, and then you get to then Socialize. you get to do whatever yeah, you, yeah. you do. It's a party. You're supposed to know people. Right. On the way to a long walk to a table, if you just I wouldn't do that to you. You think I'm gonna hug every girl I know in here on the walk in and have you standing in like a dunce face? You're not gonna do that if you're in there by yourself. I'm not gonna do that <laughs> if yeah. You There's no way that. I'm gonna do that. He's not the it's one that's gonna walk yo. in and hug nah, everybody. Because you're not gonna no, you're not gonna no, stand listen, there like ten buck one, ten buck two every two steps. <laughs> While she hugging, nigga, he rubbing all on the back. <laughs> man, then she got to move. Hey, oh. this is my man. This is my man. Now, now, you got to look him in the See? eye. Hi, I'm T. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I would shoot you if she wasn't here look, right now. His hand all on the small of her back. Yeah, that's good. You know you roll it down the He small, whispering in the ear trying to fucking tell him about. <laughs> you roll it down, girl. Man, you, you know she got that shit on. Oh, you looking marvelous yeah, tonight. Yeah, she looking girl. like Ooh, something. you smell. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, hey, this my guy. No, I don't like that. But I, would, I thought you was going to give me some game, you know what I mean, on how to proceed with the man talk after. But I No, I wasn't talking. What do you mean a man talking? No. With the, uh, I'm talking about talking to your partner in a way that doesn't <laughs> paint you to be a bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought I just dis- exhibited that, no? No, you gave me examples of when you talk. Of how to avoid those things. I thought you was going to give me the game, but it's cool. No, I don't have no game. I, I, I don't have no game, bitch. And how can I give you game? What you mean? Come on, man. You will. <laughs> You magic. Come on. <laughs> I would much rather be Will. <laughs> and I'm not magic. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You, you will, though. You, ma- you magic, box you man. You might be Will on steroids. Uh, um, Ca- Captain Crunch. Come on. <laughs> you box. <laughs> This yo, guy was one of yo, 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 This guy, yo. He'll do it. All right, so Gunner was denied bail. I think they're waiting for somebody to flip. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's I have it. no more info on this, and we'll That's wait and see. Shame. I mean, we just sounds far. January is, ain't that ain't the furthest away. Yeah, six months. For me, point, for shit. me, it's already September. I'm in the fourth. <laughs> mm. I think at the end of the summer already. Well, because we in June. It's June. It's June. Yeah, yeah you can is. say that. It's it not be hauling ass, dog. It just and June, like it June historically for me, it's the quickest month in the world. Facts. It's quick. All it the summer months quick. go by quick as hell. Summer goes by fast. August, Unless you just seems out like and about. A little bit of life on it for me. <laughs> Unless you just out enjoying your summer, mm-hmm. summer flies by to me. Yo, who's doing that, yo? Motherfuckers in eight. See, I think 20s. that's a myth. I think niggas out there are miserable. I don't think people are having as much fun as they think. Nah, college kids, shit like that, they stretch their shit. Yo, I went to a college bar this weekend. I never felt so old my entire fucking life. You went well, to a college what? bar? There was a college bar. There was a college in my hometown, and that's where we frequent. But the college was doing some sort of who, festivity who, day. Who's going to tell him that he's too old for I this I was about now. to say, I, 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 I wanted to... Well, it's a spot that's not always a college bar. It'd be kind of a little uh, bit of both, but it's right next to the college, and there happened no, to be that's, an that's, event that's, that that's a college bar, bro. It's the predatory no bar. No way, buddy. Well, you no, old niggas go back. <laughs> no, you but old niggas he wasn't the old. He college. wasn't the old guy. No, I was the old guy. He's no, he's the not old guy. talking about his last trip. Oh yeah, yeah. Historically, there. No, that's our, this that's is our spot. The, this is that's the bar. Spot. Yeah, we have those spots too mm-hmm. around yeah. Jersey City, Hoboken. Yeah. At a certain age, you can't do that no more. You know, Who the hell you think you are? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The All these kids have fake IDs and shit. I'm like, this looks crazy. <laughs> you know I know I'm a little think? older because I go in spots where older people are supposed to be and be feeling older. Mm-hmm. Not by age, because I don't think I'm old Just by, by age, but by demeanor, action, yeah, yeah, action yeah. That's true. goals. That's a real. I, I went out to some shit over the weekend. I'm not, I bullshit you not. <laughs> oh, man, God, forgive me. Yo, <laughs> 
yo, niggas had on outfits. I barely take the garbage out in. Oh, I was like, oh, shit. No, no, no. Yo, this nigga, yo, you, <laughs> you, you really a judge, man. My nigga, niggas had on white tees and shorts. With, I was like, yo, fam, you in the club? <laughs> niggas had on for real, like run the target clothes in the club. I was like, oh, dog. You know, that's why my friends, I don't belong here. I told you I was going to some hood shit. You told. Listen, Grievous and he ain't the only one with his own island. You, you, got, <laughs> you got this one. I mean, it was out critiquing the, the fits. Nah, on the walk. You was out. What, what, like what's wrong with these bums out there? Here wearing that. What's wrong with these bums wearing t-shirts? No, no, no. And no. Jeans what what and you shorts? wore to the? What you wore to the shit? You had that shit on. Yeah, he had that shit on. It's regular. You better not be little, talking little, about the party with the strips to young boys. Oh nah. All right, I'm, I don't have any more information on this gunner, gunner case. Me neither. I don't. I don't know anything else. I mean, like we all said, it seems like you know they're gonna try to make them sit as long as they can. Mm-hmm. They're clearly trying to make an example out of them for whatever reason. And right off of this, we did hear that New York has a uh, New York Senate has passed the rap music on trial bill, which now limits lyrics being used in court. So round of applause. Yeah, round of applause yeah. for sure. I got you, buddy. Round of applause. That's excellent news. Shout out to all participants in making this possible. The bill, which was sponsored by Senators Jamal Bailey and Brad Hoyleman, received public support from Jay-Z, Meek Mill, Killer Mike, Fat Joe, and Robin Thicke, among others. Before the bill can become a law, it must pass the New York State Assembly. A companion bill sponsored by Assembly member Catalina Cruz is pending before a committee and awaiting a vote. Oh, so they announced the story too soon. Yeah. yeah This is like step one <laughs> Yeah It's sort of passed It passed one part of the one pass One piece mm-hmm. yeah. And boy will they press you to death Uh huh Man give me this shit when it's passed For real Well I think that the The intent here is to drum I, up support I was about to say that too I think that when they give it to you Like Got to it. make the public aware of it They want you to be pushing Yeah, yeah cause cause If, if there's any hiccup there. yeah, Now yeah. we know who to yell mm-hmm. at exactly. You know that type of thing if it don't And I'm reading the, the details of the actual bill It says um, Senate Bill S7527 would not ban prosecutors from presenting lyrics or other material to a jury, but will require them to show that the work is literal rather than, rather than figurative or fictional. Okay. So, yeah, you got to make it say, yo, he wasn't just saying that. It's He detailed, he detailed how they caught XYZ by the bodega and did XYZ. And that's kind of what I've and been reenacted. saying. That's what ICE has been yeah, saying. the whole time. Like, yo, if, if you're going to document step for step, you're yeah. a fool. Yeah, and that should be allowed to be used against you. I agree. So while we're here, I want to hit the round of applause for Grant Williams, who we interviewed here, mm-hmm. Wu Tang affiliate. I hate that they say that there because his story is incredible enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he got a seven million dollar wrongful, wrongfully convicted payout for his 1996 killing. He spent 23 years behind bars. We know this because we spoke yeah, to him. We spoke mm-hmm. to him. I saw him. I saw him out uh, at that event I went to last. He week. was at the party I was at. Oh, you no, yeah. Ghostface before. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but um, I seen him. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I think this sucks. What that he, he only got seven million dollars. He spent twenty three years of his life wrongfully convicted, mm-hmm. and they saying that he potentially might have to pay taxes on that settlement money. So they trying to find a way for him not to pay the taxes allegedly, but that sucks, my nigga. You gave twenty three years of your life. You don't know what the fuck really happened behind them doors, and you only got seven million dollars. Ain't no price. Well, there's no, there's no, yeah, there's no, no, no price. price yeah. But you're right. There is no so price. I won't say $7 but at least give me an absorbent sucks. amount of money. You get what I'm saying? But for some, seven million is. But we don't know what that what he had to endure for 23 years, yo. Everybody say like a million a year should be a compensation, but and it's taxpayer money anyway. Fuck. So yeah, sh- that, shout to that'd Grant. be the bullshit. Yeah, shout to Grant. Though. We pay, we pay off all the uh, mm-hmm. all uh, the bullshit, all the bullshit, mm-hmm. all their wrongful, you know, their their um, what's it like the abuse suits and all that. We we pay all that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't come from police pensions mm-hmm. and none of that shit. That's where it either come from. But again, shout, shout, to, shout to him. Seven million dollars is ain't no money to sneeze at, but. Still worthy of a round of applause. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. And hopefully he can maybe. There's other lawsuits in it. I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah, there's a separate uh, state settled something else. Oh, okay. Another suit that he had 
We don't know the information on it. I know it says he was suing them for five million, and they settled something. Okay. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, still shouts to him. I mean, no amount is going to replace that time. Facts. I don't care what it is. Be a hundred million. It's not going to replace that time. You can no. never get that back. And shout out to all the wrongfully convicted that are still behind those walls. Salute to y'all. Hopefully, we hear more stories to come by Grant. More redemption stories. Hopefully, more yes. more. John Positive Bond. stories. John Bond, Grant. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, John Bond, fully exonerated. <clears throat> fully exonerated. That's a big deal. It's a big deal to him, so it's a big deal to me. Um, give me your eight ball MJ, uh, MJG versus uh, UGK. UGK scores. Give me who you think will win and give me your scores. I think UGK wins. I don't love this matchup because eight ball and MJG are great. I just don't think they have the kind of more commercially known True. records. They don't exactly have as many features. Um, it's not a fair matchup. It, I mean, it is a good matchup musically, though. Like, musically, it it's a great no, matchup. No, it is. It is It is a good matchup as far as the styles. Mm-hmm. But just UGK is a whole different animal when it comes to it's, commercial it's, popularity. It's still yeah. levels. Like, true, true, true. And that's all I'm saying. That's yeah. why I don't say it's a good matchup. It's, it's 14-6, 13-7. Yeah, probably somewhere. You. Yeah. About that. I got I got UGK plus six and a half. Half a point. I got you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I did notice that they're putting this all everywhere again. Mm-hmm. According to the uh the info. Well, the original one, all right, so that one that they were complaining about, Cypress yeah. Hill and uh, Onyx, uh-huh. it was built as a, a Triloverse fight night special. Like it was they didn't mislead anybody. We just thought we were gonna see it everywhere. Mm. All of their promos said this was going to be done this way. Mm. And I guess maybe they assumed we were somebody, we, everybody, print. yeah, everybody, just, yeah, that's print. what it is. Yeah. Well, now, now we are because of that, that debacle. Sure. Um, but I think when you, you have the name versus it kind of automatically, my brain triggers, I'll, I'll be able to go on Instagram, Instagram and watch, and watch or YouTube and, and watch again, this. Or... Remember what we keep saying. Now it's time for them to try to make their money. For sure. So not mad at that. They have to find some way. This, that could have been a test versus. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that was probably part of it too. They're figuring, right. figuring we're, we're trying out. to figure out what can we do to draw y'all behind this paywall where everybody comes over here to subscribe. Mm. So let's see how this goes. Let's see what the backlash look like. Let's just see how this looks. Because mm. I saw them uh, versus page posting even during the battle, mad clips, mm. like in the in the stories and everything. Like they're posting, they were posting clips, like you know what's going on. Hey, this is happening now. Mm. As trying to get you to say, hey. Come over here and look at it. It was a different format. Remember, there was a you know the way they, they did, did the three record. on three or something right. like that. Three everything songs, about that was different. That was like a standalone versus what everything else is. Yeah, it was a trial and error. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. What you saying? They're just trying to they they're tinkering right now. They're trying to figure out what we can do. We got to find a way. We put out a lot of money, so let's see now how we can get some of this back. Thirteen seven is not the worst score. No, no. Mm-mm. We watch Fab Jada. We watch Dipset Locks. I think musically it'll be a lot closer though. Like, let me be clear: Eight Ball and MJG have a lot of slaps. I just think that popularity, you know, you know, popularity and hits wins versus typically. Is, so we watch Dipset Locks, this but not exactly in some of those regional battles. Yes, what you mean? Yes, even in the regional battles, Dipset Locks. That's a regional battle, and what happened? I think they both from the same region, but the Locks. That was a mopping. Yeah, the locks yeah. went out. Why was it a mopping? They had the records. It's a bunch of reasons. But yeah. again, with this, UGK's records have more reach. They got more commercial. They got more features. It's a lot of people outside. I, I told you this off camera, Mike. Uh, Mike off Mike Parks. Mm. Um, unless you're an eight ball and MJG fan, there's a lot of people that probably can't name you five eight ball MJG sure, records. Sure, Ver- features included. True. And that's not a slight. That's just, they're not as commercially known as UGK. Mm-hmm. People know features that Pimp and Bun did might not even know UGK records outside of, you know, nah, you're the right. South. I wonder how they're going to handle the performance aspect. Obviously, well, Pimp not being there. Let yeah, the crowd do it. It's Had the right crowd there, the crowd to do that shit. That's the other thing. A large part about how some of these legacy, iconic acts how they're perceived and received today is largely in part to how the kids and artists today rep you and respect mm-hmm. you. And mm-hmm. Bun is at like the top of that list. Mm-hmm. 
He might bring Drake out or some shit. Like he could. might, like yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like who knows what? Yeah. If if Where Bun, he could if go? Bun B just decides to start bringing out his friends, mm-hmm. then this could get scary fast. He's got a lot. This of friends. could get scary <laughs> fast. Man. Uh, but I do. I'm with you, Parks. I think just sonically, this will be closer than it sounds on paper. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're blanking out the fact that songs are hits and you're yeah. just watching it song for song, I think it'll be a very good matchup. I, I'm. You can't do that though. I know. So no, I can, but I can too. Yeah. See, they got a bunch of records where if you just play the beat, their sound, mm-hmm. their sound it's can. Crazy. See, they got a bunch of these mm-hmm. that ain't really been being thought about. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, outside of this fandom, ain't from an essentials playlist. This just oh, that would be on an essentials. You don't playlist. even have to know that what that is to start bouncing. Yeah, that, but that record is going to be on. That's probably their biggest record outside. Like to those, that's not their biggest record. That's not their biggest record. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's probably their biggest record to those outside of the South that don't know their. That's that record. That record got the most reach for them. Is what I'm saying. What else? Maybe I'm I talk, can. you can go back to the just, coming out hard records. Like I'm talking about the real I'm a rapper. So if you if MJG and them start just playing all their hard beats, man, it's gonna feel different on it's that gonna stage. Sound different. Yeah, that's it's all. It's gonna I'm feel saying. different yeah. on that stage. I have UGK winning. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Mm. But this will be enjoyable. This will be this will be enjoyable. I might stop. I might. Yeah, Thursday. I'm gonna watch it. I'm watching this. I'm, I'm watching. watching. Oh, it's this Thursday too. See, a, par- a million times, Parks has said, "I'm never watching it again," and they well, get him right the, back. The, the, the right acts come. Yeah. The right acts. Right 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 then stop slandering my brand. Well, give us the right acts. Well, I don't have to. Oh, stop making it look stop. like it's over. Stop. Yeah. No, fair Stop we, making it look like it's over. Dogs, come they on. Were, we all we they all were keeping it up here. It. They were burying. As a hip hop like, fan, if they would have put Onyx next to somebody else, I would have watched it. I'm not the biggest. Even though I don't think they all got twenty Onyx and Mop, I watch. I watch Onyx. I watch. He's right. That's He's probably right. a better matchup on paper. He's definitely. I'm not watching Onyx Cypress Hill. And that's no. It's just it's that's not, not a shot nothing to them, there that makes my me. Bag. Wa- yeah. I'm watch watching them. Onyx MOP. If like, I shoot 45 percent from the field, you're gonna say I had a good game. So what? I don't understand what y'all talking about. What you mean? Only in hip hop do we just expect people to be 90 percent, 85 percent. Like I don't think they've gotten enough bad versus matchups for this take. We go back to no. this one, the the one that you just said, Onyx. But that might not even have been bad. It just yeah. might not have been. And that didn't matter because they didn't serve it to the public. Exactly. They didn't serve it to the public, so I don't care. They could tinker around with their business how they see fit. Mm-hmm. But the ones that the public has gotten, it ain't been enough to say, "Yo, I'm never no, watching was, them again." N- not Recency for me. bias. Yeah, not for me, but it could still definitely be a versus that just don't interest me. I wouldn't yeah. just yes. discredit. Yes. It's been a, a bunch of women around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Prem and RZA. I was like, I told, I'm not watching. No, KRS, watch Big Daddy K. I watch both. I'm not watching. Me. True. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's just what interests you. I watch them. Did he just say shit to try to get you? I'm not trying. <laughs> he just say shit to Man, purposely try to for, get you. Y'all have known me for years. I wouldn't even need to let let us know the ones that he wouldn't yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, specifically. I yes. wouldn't watch Big Daddy Kane and Karis one two of the people that invented showmanship. That's what... <laughs> I didn't say nothing about your taste and your preference. I'm just talking about that. And even that, sometimes we got to get past our own ignorance, right? Like, the uh, who was that? Bounty Killer and... Uh, Beanie, and Beanie Man. What's Beanie crazy. Man. Didn't watch it. Amazing. One that of was the, one of the one best ones. One of the ones. best. I understand. And at first, I was like, hmm. That was one of the best ones. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sit through the entire one. I, they went overtime. When them slaps came on, you was like, oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh, yeah. damn. No. <laughs> Yo, I'll come clean. I couldn't do this before because I was cheating, but I watched most of the verses with women. <laughs> and they would love that's it. how you should watch them. You should. You should. Depending on the act, obviously. Uh, not. I didn't do Big Daddy Kane and Karen. Like, one like with di- women. Dipset Locks worked a little better with the homies. Now you had a house full wife, of people for you a couple. You know what I'm saying? Of them. But you had a house full of people. For no, a that works for the New York chicks. No, yeah, that, that would work. That was an event. Yeah, that would work for them. What Locks and um, yeah. yeah, Dipset. Most yeah. of them have been an event. Even the one where they were in London. What was that? Eve versus Eve uh, and who, Trina. Who was that? Trina. Yeah. Oh, that's not the one that was. Uh, Eve was in London. Eve was in London. Yeah. 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 Fucking uh, Monica Brandy. Mm-hmm. It's not a versus segment right now, but that is how you should watch them. And some of them regional ones that I didn't all the way understand. Sometimes you get a girl that no music, 
who been moving around because she been fucking niggas with money way longer than you been outside. <laughs> Like too short E forty. That one. I see people saying that one. I when when we was listing our dream matchups, that was number two on my list. Mm. You're like, I don't nobody want to see it. I'm like, y'all are crazy. But then y'all might just regional bias. You might know a certain area of music. If yo, you know niggas music fucked out there, a lot of women from yeah. the Bay, yo. Shout out to the Bay. Listen, niggas have moved around. Y'all been beautiful out there. Sun gleaming on your skin. Love the Bay. What you think? New York niggas didn't see that. <laughs> you saw that. Saying, yeah, you saw that. Saying, Hopped saying. on flights. Got out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just heard Ice say he was scared to death, parked on the plane in Phoenix. Why he was in Phoenix? <laughs> it's just a label. And even no foot action. At, yeah, I know. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck he doing at the foot action in Phoenix? They transferred him over for the day. Yeah, for the day. Two days. <laughs> Fill it in the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The man is just sick. Just go over there for two days and come home. You know. I will say this with uh, with this matchup. I do hope it inspires uh, Mob Deep Havoc to hold down Mob Deep for a versus. Guess who? I mean, MOP might work since they they, they didn't Havoc do that. Is just look. Not trying to be funny. Havoc was at that same party. He performed there too. And no, y'all better leave Havoc alone. Fact, he performed. So. He performed Prodigy. That's what I think y'all should do. He performed Prodigy. Why don't y'all just let Havoc enjoy breakfast wherever he is, lunch, whatever meal he's having, watching his favorite show? Somebody gonna get Havoc out the house. He gonna get dressed. And bring his catalog. It's going to mm-hmm. be a long day for somebody. It is going to be a He's going to bring his catalog with him. He ain't going to forget it. And then, mm-hmm. then what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Also, a uh, quick round of applause for uh, Prodigy's catalog is back on yes, streaming. I saw that. Oh, yes. That's it big. wasn't for HNIC, particularly wasn't up. I don't think I, I don't know if it was ever up there. They lit up the Empire State Building for big the other yeah, day. That's fire. I was happy to see all the big love. Mm-hmm. I was. Got Didn't to. love that record, but happy to see all the big love still. Um... What else? What else? What else is in music? I feel like there was something else in music. Got, there's a new little song came across the. Uh, hey, came that across was the other thing. The other came across thing. the desk here a minute there ago. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Came across the desk. Yeah. yeah. My phone. Yeah, yeah man. See know. if I could get some Stop, something, something that some, some of us have been waiting up. here for for a little yeah. while. See if I can get some licensing so we've been for. Rights, rights to some of this uh, stuff. Uh, 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 get him to sign the NDA on on air. On air. Yeah. Give you, the, give you the blanket license right there. Yeah, I'm not mad at what's you. what's going on. That's kind of hard. That's nice to just be able to... When you him, you could do that. Yeah. Please leave your message for... No, no. There's two of them in the group, nigga. I'll call each one. <laughs> <laughs> fine. You can send me straight to... You send me straight to voicemail, my G. It's fine. You know, Please leave... All right, that's Damn. one. Let me call. <laughs> yeah, that's one down. Yeah, come on. We got to get this y'all know clear. Jim, y'all, know, y'all know Jimmy in the gym. Yeah, he's doing, he doing his little pull-up. Mm-hmm. Pull up dips. Nah, a little fancy leg shit. Oh, the one leg shit? Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. I was like, nah, fam. Pistol squats. Yeah, no, nah, whatever you call it, keep it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Knees, knees ain't holding that kind of. Y'all be on the floor in, in agony. <laughs> Y'all would have to call the EMS and the Gurney, roll me out. <laughs> Who you call first? Jim. And this is Mano. These lobby boy niggas is busy. Yeah. Probably doing a little, Please. little press run as we speak. All right, lobby boys. I'm from that era, nigga. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> I'm gonna cool your shit. I tried to do this shit respectfully and do it the right shit. way, and do it the right way. But I've been waiting a long time for this song. So long that I'm gonna play this without even having heard it in its entirety. Shout the drag, Rough Riders. Screaming for this for a minute, too. I already know what this is gonna do. I wanna say outside, but I'll be in the house. <laughs> it's mad, too. They dropped the shit at the right time. Memorial Day weekend? Memorial Day weekend, this drops. Kendrick and Jack and all of them, Future and them, got out of the way. Mm-hmm. They invited everybody with ears to the studio to see them live record some of these songs. Mm. Listening sessions and shit. Did you go? No. <laughs> no. Some of these gentlemen are too active in the street for me to give them card blanche on who comes in and out the facility. So no. I'll go see Mano in his home. <laughs> oh man. Last time I saw Jim and what was that? Neiman's. I was the only one that wasn't afraid to go say hello. Give him a nice big hug and warm embrace. This was around Christmas too. <laughs> I'm like, man, my niggas. All the go. employees were in the, in the cut. 
I walked out like that, man. Why am I? Why am I going to the gym? And I got in the car. I thought, oh, <laughs> I only said I because I know that now would have just ran over to say hello, Ethan. <laughs> but listen, if I get in trouble, I just get in trouble. Sorry. May 27th, that Lobby Boys album in our phones. And this is not an ad. I ain't spoke to none of these niggas. <laughs> Finally, someone else comes clean. I was just about to say, right up Finally, your someone else comes. Just mine, huh? Yo, Ish, your revisionist oh, history on you and this light skin bullshit oh, rebrand. Bro, like, knock it off, yo. That's you, why they yo. think I be hating on you, because you just lie on you. <laughs> Yo, fam, something's wrong with you, dog. Live your truth. Don't lie on escort. Not- Don't lie on escort. You fuck. Do that shit. Do that shit when you go home. Don't do it at work. I, I I don't lie on anything. I fuck. Oh, then don't just put them on. All right, we've got oh, some. Got some action. action oh, we got some action. Hello, Joe. May I speak to a lobby boy? <laughs> My brother, what's the vibe? I was hurt that you didn't answer. How you doing? How you doing, man? Come on, come on, bro. You know if I don't answer, I'm getting right back to you in a in a no, five no. minute time frame. No, no, I know, and I appreciate that, man. How how are you, you know Mano? That. I'm good, man. I'm blessed, bro. I've been waiting a long time for this slide record. That, yeah, that popped up in my inbox anonymously, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody somebody sent this to me anonymously. And I was calling you or Jim to get y'all permission to play it because I didn't want to have an uncomfortable night outside one night nah, just roaming man, around. It's go time. It's go time, Joe. We it's the song of the summer, man. This is this is this is this is the moment we've been waiting for, man. We changing narratives, we changing it all right now. The conversation, a hundred percent. We in pocket right now, Joe. I know that. And I know that, and I knew that. I liked you doing that vid the other day, talking about, yo, if it ain't about a dollar, don't call me. I ain't with none of the fuck shit. Well, <laughs> Seriously, that was important. That's a fact. Especially, you know, that that was for people that know me, that call me about nonsense. Bro, you know me. You know me personally. So there's no need to call me about whatever you think you heard on the internet. That's frivolous, bro. We we, we, we too blessed. There's too much going on. That's good. We're not going to sit up here and concentrate on a few bad comments. Out of, mm-hmm. out of out of out of thousands of uh, of the love, so you know, man, our mind is in a different place, man. We're in a different space, and we're moving better. We're feeling better. The energy is right. I also <laughs> just got to this part of the record where you admit to most of your women being escorts, and it touched me in my soul. <laughs> It touched that, me in my that, soul because you, because you know how we moving out here, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> you know what type of time we on game? <laughs> oh, no, listen, man. I did, I did a lot of, I did a lot of admitting to a lot of, a lot of stuff, man. I, I, it was therapeutic for me, man. I had to, I had to, I had to talk it for the guys that live it, bro. Nah, for you real. Know what I mean? We live a certain type of lifestyle. We got to be honest. Talk, talk, to, talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> now, so now was this your? Uh, now you coming clean because you out the escort game? I'm still in. <laughs> Whoa! I'm, I, I'm you know, never. I'm I mean, not leaving. They getting I, younger I and finer no, I don't, <laughs> and cheaper. I don't think I'm out the game, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm out the game. I mean, listen. You know, I will say that I've been, I've been, I've been concentrating and focusing more on work, and I, I haven't, I haven't had a lot of play time. You know, but but you know, it is what it is, man. We moving around. We from city to city. You know, we like what we like. Yeah, you know no. what I mean? And sometimes if they sell it, we buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard the young boy say it was uh say I refer to it as selling pizza recently. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> selling pizza. That's my first time in it. Selling pizza? Wow. Telling you, yeah, selling pizza. They selling pizza. Wow. And I'm buying. All right, so I'm looking buying. at features. We got who we got here? We got Favi Fab. Yep. Yep. Oh, we got Blue, we got Young yep. and May, Davies, Ocapella yep. Gray, that's my, oh, yeah, I got the guys. Yeah, 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 we stacked up, man, you know, nothing but quality. We got Benny the Butcher, you know. Okay. Um, you know, so we, we, we rapping, and we and it's stacked up, man, but I'm going to say this, though, it's, it's, it's quality street music, bro. It's, it's a feeling. We, we tapped into a sound, and what took us so long is that, I was working on the sound where we was taking a lot of the samples and but we was modernizing them and putting them under modern beats, right? So if you if you look at 
the uh the slide record with Fabio. That's a classic uh Swiss beast drag on joint, mm -hmm. but it's under drill drums. Mm -hmm. So he was we we was we was doing a lot of that. And um just so we could have a modern sound but with a with a with a classic feel. And um and we had to get those clear. So, you know, definitely big shout out to Ho for clearing that uh, you know, that uh 4 a.m. at the, you know, mm -hmm. do it again joint. Yeah, we did we did that too. Mm. And Ho cleared that for us. Sheesh. So that was definitely a, a good lookout because that's that's one of the strong one of the strong records on there. 2022 and Hove yeah. is clearing a record yeah. for Jim. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm old yeah. enough yeah. to be able to appreciate that the way that it should. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, things come full circle. Of course. And, you know, I think Hove, Hove in a space where where he, you know, he want to see dudes eat. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If you out there, you know, scrambling and getting to your issue, you know, we've been out here hustling. Anybody with eyes can see that. And um, we done teamed up. You know, it's power and unity. Mm -hmm. And there was no problem. I, I put one phone call in into Lenny. Shout out to Lenny S. And 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 that was a that was a done deal. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love that. Did now my this is my last question on this because because I we gotta hear it. It gotta come out at some point. Did y'all do the long album or the short album? We did I mean we did fifteen, right? It's a long so album. We did fifteen. That that's that's pretty, you know, medium, not not too long, but you know, I mean some people do ten, eleven. You know, what we wanted to do was we we did about 40, 50 records, you know, like there's there's a couple records that that didn't make it because of the sample, like you know Conway, you know Ti, like it's a couple of joints that we still got sitting on a hard drive, you know, because we went into this with two albums full of records, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but you know, 15 joints though, it's a solid album from top to bottom. It's stacked up. It got something for everybody. All right, then that's it. Then that's it. There's nothing more to say. I'll see you niggas in Starlet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, love you, I, I, I love you too, bro. Stay up, boy. My uh, nigga, love one. One. <laughs> this nigga's stupid, yo. I'm excited, man. Yeah, they both make really good music. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. They both have good ears. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what good I mean. ears. Like the music piece. I was gonna get into that with him, but I ain't want to be a dick rider. But <laughs> they two of the older niggas that I, you don't mind. Taking the old beats, modernizing them, Thanks. and going. I'm from New York anyway. And not only that, they, they two of the older niggas that just keep still getting better. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. They adapt into every sound, like mm -hmm. both of them. But without sounding like the like, old head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you can tell they keep young niggas around. Yeah. You can well, hear it. You can tell that when it ain't no, no song no. on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta cut this off. I don't wanna play the whole thing here. <laughs> I'm sure this is coming out Friday. So is this the single coming out or the whole album coming out? The album. No, the album is coming out May 27th. Oh, okay. oh Friday. shit, the album is Friday. Friday. It's all yeah, Friday. Friday. Yeah, everything's coming Yo, out Friday. Yo, May is another one that get, do what it got to do and go. Facts. <laughs> May get out of here like got something it to do. It seems like once we get out of January, maybe March, they just start. All right, so March. this project is dropping Friday. Yeah, this, this, is this is out. It's time. I guess that makes sense to drop the single today. No, the single's dropping Friday. Oh, the single's dropping with the yeah, album. Yes. It didn't come out. So oh, they ain't drop shit. it. We just playing shit. Yeah, this didn't come that's, out. That's why I cut it off. <laughs> but shout out to Jim. Shout out to Mano. Lobby Boys. Yeah, they did yeah. what they had to do on this. And I'm, he I'm said excited. Other, yeah. yeah we, we, More we, Memorial Day music. Oh, yeah, yeah. More they Memorial. flipping classic New York records. And y'all want to take off the Saturday instead of the Wednesday. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. You shouldn't me. You shouldn't me. Uh, all right, what else? What else? What else? What else is happening? Anything else in music? Well, in music, you know, I do this every year. Um, once we approach, like, June, mm -hmm. I always try to, to start coming up with my uh, albums of the year, you know, so far. Halftime? Halftime list. Gotcha. And then the way I usually do it is is when an album drops, if it's something that I really fuck with, uh -huh. I'll throw it on the list. Okay. So it's an evolving list. Yeah, it's an evolving list. By the time I get to the end of the year, mm -hmm. I have my twenty. Okay. So it, you know, if, if I'm if it's August and I got twenty joints listed on there, and something comes out, somebody got them. If, if it's worthy of moving something, somebody falls off. I'm not celebrating twenty people at the end of the year. Why? Because twenty people don't need to be celebrated at a best of the year in a best of the year conversation. It's levels. Too much. It's too many people. It's too many people. 
Mm-hmm. Fuck, my, fuck am I talking about 20 people for it at, at the end of the year who was the best of the best cream of the crop who really went in and did what they had to do change the sound change the uh, promotion who See, really who really did hold something on, hold on that's why my list is always called my favorite albums of whatever year got it Got oh, see, there's nothing wrong that, with that. Yeah, these nothing are nothing wrong with having these twenty are, favorites. Exactly. Even that is a lot. It's a lot though. Some of, lot. some of y'all see, see. have to make it past the traditional microwave ear mm-hmm. segment, which is when you drop and you just automatically get two weeks of equity from our ears, mm-hmm. and then we move on to whatever's nah. Yeah, and that's, like, that's, that's, that's kind of see, my barometer. Is like, what am I still listening? What am I still to? saying? Exactly. Yeah. Like Cole passed that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he stopped promoting his project. Still I was listen. still listening. Facts. That has to happen. For I might me. still throw that shit on. I can't like just one and a half albums a month. I it, can't just fall victim to listening to you me. during your promo. Uh, that's why I tease the niggas that was running around pushing P, pushing P, pushing P. Just push P, push P, just push P. I'm just push P. That's not P. That's P. No, she should wait. That's P. Like that's why I tease them niggas. <laughs> sure not because there's something wrong with saying that, but I don't want to fall hype to a promo mm-hmm. of your your marketing shit. Mm-hmm. I want the song, and I still go back and play that Pushing P record and the Drake record. There's records on that Gunna album I play still. Mm. But I didn't need that. Like, that don't work on me. I okay. try to put barriers up to block those things out. I just occasionally see, go back like to that my... Wouldn't make it, like, I don't care about the, the hype and all of that shit. I'm talking about what I listen to. Like, I still go back and listen to albums that came out in January. Me too. You know, I still I got, go what back. I do is I just whittle down my uh, recent shit in the Apple app. I just delete the shit I don't listen to no more. Like, and I'm a music hoarder, so I can't. I yeah, can't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hoard no more. It's too, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't hoard with yeah, you guys. It's too much. I can't, you know, the reason why I always hoard is because I, I'm just in the past. I've noticed the one album that I just happen to not have on me at the moment, or mixtape or something. I'll get the urge to want to hear a song off of, and that happens a lot. It's like, damn, I wanted to hear that remix that he did over this because mm-hmm. I heard something that reminded me of it. So that's why I just keep all my music on me, where I can hear everything at any time. I feel it's just too much for me. to I don't feel them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel that shit. First of all, Ice changes out his memory card in his ba- his laptop. Number one, like <laughs> this goes back to my theory about Ice being inside. Like as a hoarder, I didn't know you could do that. You can't. Anymore. Ice can. You can't anymore. You used to be. Able to. You used to. I only Ice can do it. You used to. As a hoarder, stop that. What's more important to you, the hoarding, the like the library, or experiencing your like your joints as you hoard. You can do both. I can hoard this music and still go out and experience it. I can collect and still have experiences with what I have. It's a lot. It'd be hard for me to it's whittle through that. Yeah, you it's know what I mean? Songs. That's a lot, Ice. No, I'm not saying every your record music, ain't the your same. Your music palette is wide. Yeah, every record ain't the same. Certain shit hit me different than others. Or if you just want to go back to the catalog. Sometimes I might want to go back and hear that first mixtape that this artist did. You like music too much. They have never tried to make a song, honestly. <laughs> I love basketball. I'm not going out there trying to... But you went to a basketball court and tried to get picked, and you didn't, so you never played again. <laughs> like, that's what happened. And it's only because you got yeah, some... Yo, some stories are just timeless throughout hoods. And he, like, we know... Yo, as black... <laughs> all all of us went to the court so with our guy stupid. best friend at 13 and tried to do a few drills. <laughs> We all had that hoop dream until we realized, oh, nah. That ain't why I ain't had the hoop dream. I'll tell you why I ain't had it. That was right. Because you kept breaking bones. No, nigga, it's because I didn't want to practice. Like, you, they had the sign-ups for school, but I was like, yo, all right, if I sign up, what happens if I don't want to play today? Ice, you, fam, I, yo, Ice is delusional. Ice, you were short, fat with glasses, walking up to the basketball what team the line. Fuck is talking that? about, yo, can I get picked? I did that, too. As a hey, short, yo. little, frail, little bum, positionless. And they sent me home while the cool kid, Kevin Lewis, stayed. Joe. You remember the names of the guys that stayed. The guys that put up 19, 20, 24, the chicks in high school staying at the game. Oh, Kevin Lewis. <laughs> you remember that. You was home. They stopped, yo. We ain't got to come in live. Fam, I'm telling <laughs> you the dream truth. was you over were, early. You, like to make, you try to shape the narrative on my life. You weren't there. No, some shit we know, yo. What no, we, you don't. We talk? No, you don't. Yo, why you always do this? Because then I come off yo, like the bad guy. Because you won't fucking talk. I wasn't in Elizabeth Joe with Ice. I don't know what that was, nigga was doing. Was Ice almost right there from Varsity? I'm <laughs> asking a question. That? I'm uh, Joe. See, but that's, I'm the, that's the, there's the narrative switching. 
I never want. I never tried out. I never wanted to because I, it was too much of a commitment. I didn't want to make the commitment. Even if I, if I've never got picked, we'd have never got that far. Give me the high school stars with glasses that you know. Fucking no. Was Eldon Campbell or somebody? Fucking no. No, nah, it's just I. Ain't, I just I'm get not, so I'm mad not, when you tell him I'm something. Not, I'm not mad. <laughs> he gets so mad, yo. He don't like that. I was in the house, shit. He get, he get heated. Dog, I stand in that shit, but you also have to understand it's a lot of shit I didn't do by choice because I just didn't want to commit to it. That's all. A lot came with. Well, with where do you think your commitment issues issue stem from? Then let's 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 advance the conversation. <laughs> let's advance the conversation. I'm here to pop. Where do you Hell, think your commitment issues? It's stem not from? commitment issues. I do what I want to do. If I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. Oh, that's a crush. Yeah, yeah, Come on, yeah. play on the blacktop. You play on the blacktop. Mm-hmm. Can anybody on this side of the room help me pod? I'm listening to you have a conversation with Ice. I pay you to jump in to the conversation <laughs> with Ice. Yes, yes. <laughs> I yes, said he ain't, he had that is exactly issues. what you're I didn't say I had commitment what issues. Yeah, what you, yeah, I don't want to judge Ice, but I'm pretty yeah, sure he yeah, was. Like, you know what I mean? Talk about? I just Killing didn't give a fuck court. about that. I played, I played like a little pickup game in the park with niggas. I played. You know Ice ain't. <laughs> he played a rough. He <laughs> played a rough. 21. Yo, you know I had a triple double. All right. Yeah. All right. But this is why I don't talk to niggas from the house. This is nigga. why I don't talk oh, to nah, niggas from the house. Oh, no, y'all want to, you can make up shit, I can look, make up shit look, too. Let's get it, baby. This is why we don't talk to Let's niggas from the house. You want us to jump ice about Let's get it. I, nah, you no, know Ice no. and I who like that. So Let's what you want it. us to do? Say anything. I Say whatever I you think hoop like that. about whatever yeah. the topic is. Why are you acting like I'm sitting here telling y'all I was an All-American Hooper? No, no, no. I never said nothing like that. You wasn't. All that house, Hooper. <laughs> one house. <laughs> with America, we dealing with one Nigga, property. Was, You're not one property, <laughs> you make it American. Like I want to play. I know everybody has the aspiration to play ball. No, I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. I did. I did, I did not. I definitely did. Y'all my friends, so I put a cap on my pod greatness. But there's that. What is it? I can go... Then tell me, all right. Oh, <laughs> What's up? What did I, what did I aspire to yet. do? What did you aspire My to nigga. do that you failed at? Programmer. That's what I was doing. We, we had our first computer at six. I was six years old when we got the first computer. So tell me about when you shit. realized what what you wanted to do, what you thought you would be that nigga at. Fam, no, it's to, nah. I, I went to college thinking I would be a computer programmer. I took up all this shit and came out and didn't do none of it. Yeah, that was the nah. Tell real me life, about, real life tell said, me about oh, how, shit. how it made you feel. I was pissed off, nigga. I just went to college. I'm in debt now. Wait, and Ice, I'm not working in... Is a computer the science major? Yeah. Ice, that was your hoop dream? No, it wasn't a hoop dream. It was just, yo, I'm good at this shit. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, that was but then you realize, oh, shit. <laughs> they jazzy jeffed him out of DeVry. <laughs> <laughs> Take your little MP3 <laughs> switcher. <laughs> <switch here. laughs> Hey, it was, hey, that nigga walked up to <laughs> LIU and he was like, oh no, buddy. <laughs> you take your ass <laughs> up the street, four eyes. Yo, this nigga's a fool. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That nigga said. <laughs> But nah, that's been my shit, though. Hey, I've been, a, I've been right. a nerd, bro. I've been oh, a tech nigga. That's why I'm still on. that person. Come on, come on. I got you guys. What else? What else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Wait, so what was your album? You're, you're, give us five. Oh, yeah. Five? <gasps> All right, let me pull that list back up because I have the lot. I have the list. Um, my five, well, at the top right now is Yo Gotti, CM10. Okay. Um, I have uh, I have Kodak Black, Back for Everything. Uh, Push Your T, It's Almost Dry. Yo, yo, y'all have the job, yo. What? Nothing. I have Vaughn, what it means to be king. And I got ESTG 42, Doug. Last one's left right now. The five that I still play is Conway. Right. That's just five right this second. Push. Yes. Bad Bunny. Kendrick. Hmm, what would be the... Like, f- these are my favorite. Again, I'm not saying... I'm not, I don't make best of lists. Because my best and your best and his best and that person's best is all different. Don't look but at me. My favorites. You, and when I start favorites. talking, oh. you'll be like, yo, still the Vince, music. Sta- Vince Stable's album's great. I still play that shit frequently. But them the albums I'm listening to. Oh, shit. That runs out by five. Got call Vince now? <laughs> what you got, Ish? Vince another just nigga. Just five. Tried to ruin, None. ruin I didn't my... like no album like that this year that I could just say is in my <laughs> top. None of that shit was really listen-worthy in hip-hop. Listen-worthy. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all get mad at me. See? See what I'm saying? So I'll take niggas serious. Y'all got it. Hello? 
May I speak to Vince Staples? What's up, nigga? Where you at? Like a gangster party? Nah, bro. I'm at the um, I'm at the Takiera. You feel me? I'm with the Mexicans. I'm tapped in. <laughs> hey, I ain't calling you about shit. I'm not calling you about that stupid shit you text my phone over the weekend. I'm just calling, really, literally calling to say hello. It's true. I know you're true, bro. But it's true. You just gotta understand, like. <laughs> Yo, Vince, Vince hits me just to credit everything to the bay. Everything. That's what not what I said. What was it? I said time? the moment. I said the momentum. You know this independent music structure that you niggas talk about every week, and don't ever say E49. But it's cool. See, see. You're not wrong, though. Like, right. never. 100% right. Yeah, but is that my job or yours, nigga? Like, <laughs> who's I mean, I, I look, look, bro, I don't got I don't got the hip-hop platform. You get on there every week and you start hipping and hopping, nigga, and you'll never say a great name. You know what I'm saying? Vince. That's all I'm saying. It's cool. You do have the and then you And then you go into your little Wayne Tangent, you feel me? And then that's like the Jason the Birdman. And then that brings us back to Master P. And that's still the base. And that's you know? the base. But it's cool. Yeah. Vince, stop, yo. Stop what? Yeah, but I know about his deals that he has that I won't say. So he could easily go on these platforms oh. <laughs> and talk his shit. Why do I have to be my New York ass to come? That nigga fucking did, he did something to Biggie. What you, what you want me to do? <laughs> look, bro, what look, you want me to look, do? Man, <laughs> look, E-40 didn't do nothing to Biggie, bro. He spared him, bro, because he's a good dude, man. Earl Stevens selects. He got all kind of crazy shit going on. But um, And I, I love E-40. Shout out to 40. 40 Water. Yeah. Bro, I'm out, I'm out here. I'm on my thespian shit right now. I'm, I'm shooting something. It's our shooting this movie in like two weeks. So you're not, I'm just trying you're not to make about sure to shoot a movie in two weeks as an underground rapper, are you? <laughs> yeah, what did I got to do anything? <laughs> Yo, still, Vince. Yo, you got to stop. I'm not doing this with you right now. I was an underground I'm, I'm, rapper. I never I'm, shot a movie nowhere. I never got past the audition or the casting. Emilio Sparks and them had a movie, too, and them niggas wasn't really, So, like, don't do that. It's hella niggas with movies. Don't do that. Petey Crack and State Property 3, my nigga. Don't do that. <laughs> you bigger. You bigger than all them niggas put together. And you, it's not my fault you didn't want to be in the movies, bro. You was too focused on this hip-hop shit. That's the problem with you niggas, man. You niggas don't lead a booth, man. And then you walk out one day. It's nighttime and you 47. And you, man, like, man, what happened? That's your fault. No, oh, no, not me. I quit when I was still nice. I got bald when I was growing hair. Nah. <laughs> I went into my shit. I leaned up to it. I was out of it. You gotta, I keep telling you, gotta, you to retire. You I, tell I'm mad kids. you put the last two albums out. Hey, look, man, look, bro. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, I had I had to wiggle that because that way I can do this accurate tomorrow. Don't worry about it, bro. Just know like everything I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got some intention. No, listen, I already, I already know that. I'm done for a minute. I'm gonna take a little break. You feel me? I'm I'm taking a little break. I you you know I hail you as one of the brightest minds that we have. Hey, I don't know why I'm still doing this job, bro. This shit is so you're kind of an idiot. For my integrity. You're a fucking idiot. It's one of the bright dummies. Stop. Stop. <laughs> hey, Just... Look, man. Look. What? Well, to be honest, I don't really rap that much. Like, I rap sometimes. I don't put out singles. I don't do features. I only put out albums sometimes. I and I don't put out like, you know what I mean? I put out like five, six albums in like five years. But it's like it's never like I ain't doing nothing in the middle. I don't do the get high shit. I don't hang out with niggas and take pictures. I don't put other niggas' chains on and put them on the Instagram and be like, oh, man, you killing them. Oh, I don't do all that weird shit. It's crazy. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah, you got to not talk to this nigga, yo. Well, listen, I only called because Parks was bigging up your last outing and talking about how it was one of the best projects of the year so Thanks. far. So I mean, it's the, it's the, it's the true part. This you got to realize, bro. This we got to realize in hip-hop, man. It's not about the fucking music. It's about all the other bullshit that you do. You feel me? Everything that they say, oh, this nigga got this, and this nigga got that, and this nigga got that. I got all of that. I just don't be talking. Like, the other day, they called me and said, oh, man, Magic is number 15 at Rhythm Radio. And I'm like, what the fuck do that mean? And then it got quiet because nobody know what it means. They just don't want to pay you, so they tell you stuff to make you happy. And I want to be paid. So, you know, that's that stopped me a little bit. But like I said, man, we still trying to make shit work. I mean, white man can't jump with the boy Jack Carlo. You get what I'm saying? Six foot white boy. It ain't that many of them out here in the hip hop game. So shout out to the six foot white boys. Sparks, <laughs> <laughs> you the leader of the six foot white boys. Wait, you and white? Wait, wait, wait. Sparks is the leader. <laughs> wait, wait. You and white men can't jump with Jack as an underground as an underground rapper. Hey man, look, hey look, bro, look man, look at the sales, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm putting up this is what I'm saying. I'm putting up these same sales, these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't put me in the in the underground conversation. I don't know why, man. Are you Sydney Dean? <laughs> Am I what? Are you Sydney, Sydney, Sydney Dean? Wesley Snipes? 
the Wesley Snipes character. Oh man. Hey, look, hey, look, bro. I might be. Just wait on it, bro. I can't let you know what too too much of what's going on. Mm. I'm doing a fitting on Thursday. You feel me? It's on Crenshaw over there, so I'm gonna bring the thing with me and I'm gonna go by myself <laughs> and we're gonna get in the character. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the real the real talk I want to have whenever I get to you or you get to me is the uh uh your 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 conclusion to what live shows will look like in the coming years and what they're doing to them. That was look, a that you. was a real educational talk for me. Yeah, it's it's, it's over, bro. But we'll talk about it when you find yeah. a platform for us to visually explain it and they cut you a check because this is the thing bro we gotta learn you feel me like you know we gotta teach you we gotta learn we gotta start separating these conversations niggas do too much in one space bro you know this is not the one size fits all it's mm-hmm, not the mm-hmm. fire ass. it's not the ross dress for this my nigga you can't come here get a tv get a tennis table <laughs> none of that shit bro we gotta separate all this shit my nigga we doing too much so when they cut you a check to start breaking down music this is the thing bro the joe button podcast you feel me that can be your your cultural relevancy platform when you start getting into the depths of this music shit, that's a different tier to Patreon. We gotta re- we gotta restructure the Patreon, bro. <laughs> if you want advice, it's fifteen dollars. If you want to talk about music, it's fifty dollars because this is expertise. These niggas is getting away with highway robbery, Joe Button, and we don't need that, bro. And you trying to help them do it. The next tier is a hundred and two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you talking about? We ain't selling nothing for fifteen dollars, nigga. This shit is crack. Look, look, bro. I'm, you know, I, I don't, I don't know your prices. You feel me? Because, no, yeah, you know, you don't just start call, throwing numbers out there now. I, I call, I call you direct, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get, I, I get the free Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Vince, go ahead back to your party, man. We love you. All right, love y'all. Be safe. Boy, Peace, bro. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'd love to hear that conversation about live shows. His nah, he went crazy. Idea, he went crazy. Yo. He really, really... He probably is going I don't even have the retention in my head to explain what he was explaining as an active participant. Mm. Right? Like, my knowledge is from where it's from. Mm. But today, with the new tricks and the new just what they're doing out there, he got to do that. He got Or come here and educate us. Cause yeah, his brain. He's up. a weirdo. They setting up. You say he's a weirdo. Yeah, no, his brain. You can tell. Bro, you can tell. You can tell his brain's there. You can tell. They setting up to change <clears> all <throat> that live live show shit. They're planting seeds. I wanted to tell y'all before. I, I saw that um, <clears throat> Spotify bought an island in the Roblox game, mm. and they're mm-hmm. literally it's for them to funnel their artists to. Like mm. they're gonna. We saw it with mm. Travis Scott with Fortnite, mm-hmm. and somebody else did a Fortnite concert mm-hmm. too. They're getting ready to start taking these live shows virtual. Listen, we still ain't find out why them niggas went up to uh, Mars or wherever they went. Who? Cool. Uh, Jeff and uh, Elon, right? Yeah. Was them two that went? Nah, it was. It was Jeff and somebody. Yeah, Jeff, yeah. Elon, and I think the Virgin. And one more. The Virgin. And one more. Group, I think billionaire. Yeah, they went to Mars. <laughs> they, went, they went up there. They went up to space. Now, Neil well, DeGrasse, Neil space, DeGrasse they just the, uh, says that they didn't really go to yeah, they space. Didn't go. Yeah, they just shoot. They, they just go past a certain level. Went up back really down. high. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really space. And I respect Neil DeGrasse, yeah. but he's like a fat guy, and I'm not. So wherever they went, they went there for a reason. <laughs> they didn't just go there taking a little helicopter swing through New York, mm. three of them, and just, we just never heard none again. That's not true. That's true. Mm. Ain't no jurisdiction up there, nigga. No, they're going to start. No, no, they're putting no, some, they'll start they're all some shit. They going up there to source or put something up there. Something there already. Or, or check on something that's up there. Something there already. They something is space, happening up there. That's I all I know. There's a space station there already. Don't get to listening to me. But. Yeah, we know how much shit is floating around out there right Joe, now. Joe, I'll tell you that UFO. Well, it's because uh, they put it there. The UFO no, I'm Congress saying how shit. many different satellites and stations they Even have that. There? Yeah. Even oh. that. Say that again. The... Uh, they had a, a, a UFO conference or a whatever. Committee. A, a committee. committee, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the word. Mm-hmm. Uh, at Congress, like, l- last week, a week mm-hmm. ago. And they, they basically not- said they've been finding mad shit, but they wouldn't tally it to aliens. They were like, oh, they tried be. to show the us pilots, on Mars. The pilots that are up there all day long are saying, yo, dog, I'm seeing some shit that can't be explained True. up there. Mm-hmm. There are things moving the in boats. ways that we've never seen. The, the captains on the boats are out in the middle of nowhere yeah. in the fucking ocean. You can't see nothing for miles and miles and miles, and they mm-hmm. are seeing shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the air, I think it was like an Air Force pilot. So he's like, yo, there's nothing that could bank and turn yeah, as be fast turning. as this shit yeah. just did. But see, back to my conspiracy theory brain, I think them bringing it back reporting is just... 
Smoke screen. Confirming to the government. I mean, it's just letting the government know, hey, we won't be able to hide this for too much for longer. Too much I don't, I don't think they're telling the government nothing that they didn't already they know. Already oh, know. Yeah, no. They've been new. Now, but with the emergence of camera phones and all mm-hmm. that shit, mm. now motherfuckers, as soon as they you see something crazy, they no just more. go like this. You can't suppress it. And then they no can more. give it to all the media outlets. How do you explain it? When it starts to be overwhelming, you got to kind of be like, Because you yeah. know we be talking about the young people in every field and how they're being raised and conditioned and how they were. What they doing with the young pilots up there that's just taking their phone out? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 they sent this shit to their girl. Uh, yo, babe, uh, hey, you went on IG Live with this yo, shit. Yo, yo, yeah. you see this? Yeah. yeah, these niggas ain't playing. Well, green motherfucker. Yeah, that's funny. If I get me a little alien chick, I'm stunting on you baddies. <laughs> I'm stunting see? on you baddies. See? Huh? How many? See? see, but y'all judge me for what avatar. You, what you, you, only got, you only got one pussy? Ew. <laughs> see? Ew. Just remember that. that y'all judge so, me for so avatar. Trash. She got three. three, three <laughs> 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 I'm being silly, of course. No, you're not. I am being silly. Yeah. I ain't fucking nothing with two, two of them. What the fuck are you talking about? Three way with the same girl? Barely into one of them. Nah, if I yeah, you fat. big bag If I three chicks. asses, you might got three cheeks. Yeah. I think you try your game. I would need two more dicks. No, just one. Go. Mine? Left, right, left, right. Yo, you are weird. <laughs> Expound. <Fair>. So. <laughs> <laughs> How had, you do that? You've had a threesome before? Way back when. Yeah. There you go. And I never now wanted one again. Could be with her. And I never wanted one again. It wasn't well. I had a few of them, but no, now the threesome could be with just one person. Yeah, yeah. the threesome being too mm-hmm. much work led me into my oh, I like being a voyeur. Let, I just I will watch this. Mm-hmm. I like to still have my breath, <laughs> not have any pressure Some of heart not hey, 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 if the night if your shit went bad, then it ain't me because I took the pics, <laughs> the, the music. You know what, lit the incense the yeah, drama the drama that potentially could come along oh yeah cause they definitely gonna fight afterward yeah, yeah, yeah. I want nothing to do with that or, you know what I mean wash it for yeah no I want nothing to do with just, that just, how many threesomes you had or been a part of in my life yeah you're under 20 <laughs> damn yo. <laughs> <That's the guy. laughs> yo Alex, what, what, young boys, what y'all thinking back there? That boy is a killer. <laughs> hey, yo, that's what you're doing, yo. Like said, Only 20. about 200. Yeah, yeah like, that's, like, damn. Under 20 is a lot, nigga. Well, I, sorry. That's 60. <laughs> 60 what? Well, threesome. No, it's not a foursome. Oh, you're right. So, yeah. my bad. It's 40. Park <laughs> stop. Yo, you niggas be getting up here caping. Yo, I'm about to start calling y'all out on y'all bullshit. I cape? Man, I ain't had no 20. You are Captain Cape. I am not Captain Cape. You crazy as hell. Fam. What? You got it tied around your neck, floating off the back. You are Captain Cape, my nigga. I don't think so is what I'm saying. I, 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 you don't say. How many threesomes you had in your life? You want me to count right now? Yeah. Yo, I'm about to start wearing my t-shirt in here like, Joe, this is me. <laughs> Written on a t-shirt. You want me to count right this second? Nah. You don't know me. Shut up, nigga. You, I don't. You be making the audience seem like you know. You don't know shit. I, who? Me? I make <laughs> yeah, the audience seem like. So what the fuck you make them seem like? No, I be knowing what I'm talking about. About me. Yes. I know. You, you, boy, you are <laughs> so perceptive. Go it ahead. It was that time. Oh, in that time. <laughs> Those two other times. No, not a lot. I haven't had more than six. That's what I... I thought you would come in at like yeah, nine or ten. Less than 20. I haven't had more than... And, and, and if I'm wrong, Seven. Hey, I'm, yo, there's no way that on earth with, that I've had more, you know, th- Arthur, more than seven threes. You know the little cartoon nigga Arthur? No way on earth. With a fist be shaking? And honestly, <laughs> I, I, I really want to say five, but I know my memory is bad. I know my memory is bad. So throughout my illustrious career, maybe seven. And maybe five or four is the ones I stayed all the way through. I bounced to the bathroom early in the game. Yo, I got to wash off and just listen from the door. <laughs> <laughs> Now you as I know about two or three of your threesome show. Why though? <laughs> two of them I was there for. We had a little situation. That's a train. That's situa- a train. No, it depends on how many. The true. Yeah, you know I what gotta mean? remember when my friends be around. <laughs> in, in my count, I don't remember his face at all. <laughs> See, <laughs> no, add that to your there number. There you go. Oh, the nigga full, full of shit are you, numbers. Are you counting them? Ew. 
Never acknowledged look, look how this nigga moved the ball. I never acknowledged him. Look how this nigga moved the Yo, you still acknowledge. Like, once you get rich, you ain't got to acknowledge me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I acknowledge him, because I'm not rich. Uh, true. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Oh, man, this guy. Oh. So you only had six or seven since you've been rich? <laughs> no you mask. comprehend better than that. I haven't had any since I've been rich. Not a one. I tell you, I don't do that. And... I run when it's when it's when it's near, when I can see it coming. I let it be known. Yo, I do not do threesomes. I there's no nothing y'all y'all have to do something out of the out of the out of this world to make me want to fuck both of y'all. Aliens. Honestly. Avatars. Yeah, it gotta get really spicy. I'm not I'm not walking into that as a man today. You know how bad both of y'all gotta be? You know how beautiful both of y'all have to be? I still don't You know how much chemistry y'all got to have together? Y'all got to be having a blast. Both of y'all got to be the right level of lit. Like, it's so many things that come in there. I'm not banking on two of them being that at the same time in that moment. And I'm no longer fucking the bad one and just letting the ugly one stare at my dick because I want to fuck the bad one. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that no more. You can't see this dick. Hey, Alex. <laughs> you don't have nothing to say to that, huh? Nah, what happened? I bet. Bet if his shoe was on the other that's foot, you'd be like, yo, that nigga's a sniper. He's the killer. He's the, that yeah. Is, that is his experience. That is your experience. Why you mad at me? Fuck out of here. Juneteenth is on Father's Day. And Ice's birthday. And, and it's Ice's on birthday. Ice's birthday. Mm-hmm. Three and one for him. Two and one for us. And I don't know what it is to you, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It might be a game one or something. <laughs> oh, it might be a game oh, one. Oh, See, black people shit. be so mad if white people came out in blackface on Juneteenth talking about something. Hey, it's a celebration. But that's why Ice did on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's exactly what Ice did. And that's why I don't understand it. Because when they do it to us, we're going to be the first ones trying to boycott something. It's, it's a double standard, man. It is. What you want me to do? I say it all the time. They exist. Yo. We can kill that one for reparations, you know. Like, I'm not okay with it. <laughs> like... Hey, we, we get appropriation. Y'all get to be rich in the world and wealth and get tax loopholes and... Give me the spank. The, yeah, fuck. Anyway, Walmart, great value. All right, this story, there's levels to this. <laughs> and they've already pulled all of the Juneteenth merchandise. Parks, let's toss it to you. Why do <laughs> white people do this? I, I, this is rich white people shit that I don't know. I think that they're yeah, trying. They think that they're shit. trying to uh, be inclusive, uh, inclusive, inclusive or think. trying to extend a uh, arm. Yeah, I think so. I think this is some bright fucking boardroom meeting idea, and there's no people of color, specifically black people, to say, "Yo, this is really fucking bad some idea." Yeah. You know, I think he's right. You know what I think? When it comes to shit like this here. I think they're sitting there saying, yo, if we don't do something, they're going to look at us like, oh, how are y'all ignoring Juneteenth? It could be true. You, you got to do, yo, y'all, y'all just going to act for 4th of July. Exactly. Y'all won't do nothing exactly. for Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. So they're like, all right. Sure. But there's plenty But there's out. plenty you could do for Juneteenth. You could highlight You could highlight the black businesses for the entire month. You what? think the white big business is going to highlight the small black businesses? I'm talking about like the Walmart, the and we family about dollars, the the Target. Let's be clear. They don't, Walmart, how can we Walmart make money has, off this holiday? Walmart has black people that fucking put product in their yes. store. Yes, they do. Like that's not that's no, not. I know that. So why if you if you want to celebrate Juneteenth, highlight put all their shit on the front yes. page. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, saying. No, highlight. I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, different. Hey, free product placement <laughs> mm-hmm, <laughs> this word. month. Like anything, get creative, but. To take great value ice cream, which is not black owned, slap Juneteenth on it, put some black little Fig Newton fuckity fuck hands on it, and name it Swirled Red Velvet and Cheesecake Flavored Ice Cream, right? That shit sounds great. It don't sound like a white person came up with that. You know why? Because he didn't. A black person came up with that. Mm. So they have an ice cream in the store called, uh, uh, with the flavor, Red Velvet and Cheesecake. Black people came up with that because who else would fucking come up with that? Share our and stories. sure enough, <laughs> Walmart decides to just plagiarize their shit and celebrate Yo. Juneteenth. It's just not tasteful. It's disgusting. The ice cream? It's way worse than not being tasteful. They stole from black people to celebrate black people. Uh, uh, how, uh, black people holiday. Now look at that. Oh my God. 
Oh yeah. my lord, cream alicious though. Target, that's in Target. Cream alicious. That shit looks way more appealing. That looks great. Good, right? Packaging, no, that's nice all that packaging. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Riot like, is rain. Red font, velvet cheese. Good font. Blissfully southern. See, and that's the problem in America because what does southern mean? I think it's a black word. I also think it's a white word. Yeah, mm. that, that's either way. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on what we talk about, yeah. southern can I, mean. I know when we. Way. I know what it means when we say it, but I mean. That word ain't exclusive to us. I know what it means mm-hmm. when they say it. That's it's true. the same shit. It means Southern. And I'm sure maybe. white people got some shit that say blissfully Southern on it, too. Oh, it's one, yeah. very different. I don't know different. how y'all got black people to enjoy Cracker Barrel. I'm still not. That's one of y'all <laughs> yeah. greatest accomplishments. Honestly. I won't go in there for that and reason. Sh- Sorry. By sheer title, I'm not Sorry. going in there. I'm not going in there. And the shit could be amazing. I, I would when, never I know. I hate when black people you like just start there. raving about never. I went in and walked out. I'm not even going. No. I walked in there, that shit was Pergola 10X. <laughs> Fam, <laughs> at least at Pergola, I'll deal with your door and table issues in the nighttime. I'm not fucking going through this at breakfast. <laughs> it was, it was I'll like, smack the shit out of one of y'all at breakfast. Pergola 10X. <laughs> you walk in Cracker Bat, hey, wait right there. It's nothing but empty tables. You're just sitting there staring around. So now you have no choice but to look at the menu. You look at the menu and it say, hey, these niggas ain't for my people. <laughs> Ain't nothing on that menu for me. Ain't no smothered pork chops. Just anything black on that menu. I'm out of there. Hold up. Hold up. Wait I've never man. been to a crack. Wait a minute. Time out. Good for time you. Out, time out. Time out. Good for you. The same company that made the ice cream trademarked Juneteenth? Yes. They trademarked. It's theirs. Wait, the Walmart company? The good, the Walmart, good, great, great great value. value. Great, great, wow. great value. They trademarked it. You're lying. The I'm not. Made, trademarked I'm Juneteenth. Not. And the application. Uh, look, look, look. The application was filed September 21. The same year Juneteenth was made an official federal holiday. So now we, we yeah, they stole just, your holiday. That's some sick the shit, recent move. Yo. They just stole our shit. That's some sick Ish, shit. Ish, what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you see what you be doing? I'm think, trying to get yo, podcasters. Yo, I'm about to that, talk, nigga. Oh. <laughs> um, some smart shit, my nigga. <laughs> it's some smart shit. The fuck you want me to say? It's, it's, it's more corporate bullshit. It's, it's more corporate um, upper echelon corporate white shit. But you gotta give it to him. That's some smart ass shit, my nigga. Think everything that can say Juneteenth gotta go through them, or they could shut your shit down. How can they even do but that? They should, should, that, should, that be the case? should should they be allowed to do that to a holiday? No. Who trademark Christmas? <laughs> that's like that's like us going to trademark Reed. St. Patrick's Day or some shit. Oh wait, what's his name? What's Santa Claus? What did say Santa Claus' name was? Chris uh, Kringle. Chris, <laughs> Chris Kringle. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Christopher Reed. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Chris Kringle. Christopher Chris King Kringle. <laughs> Yo, ain't nobody black come up with that. Dog, name, that's yikes. Oh, that's some shit right there. Fam. That's gangster. Yeah, I know black people with the name Santa Claus Larry or some shit. Sean. <laughs> yeah, Sean. <laughs> That another black company had already made. All right, do we have an opposing take to issues? Parks, do you oppose? No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Parks, do you know? That's some sick shit. Yes, I don't think you should be. I mean, they shouldn't be allowed. I mean, you should not be uh, allowed to trademark a fucking holiday, a national holiday. That's that's what we got to get. Did they do it prior to? I don't care when they did it. Prior to what? So listen to what they said. They said they almost they also trademarked Juneteenth. The application was filed September of 2021. The same year it was made an official federal holiday. Mm -hmm. So they fuck around and got the application in prior to. You understand what I'm saying? Uh Prior to them making it a holiday. I'm pretty sure they got a little heads up. That's some gangster shit, yo. See, this is that is gangsterism on a big level. Like that is some. But see, that's where we gotta like why we just gotta get smarter. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. Cause some 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 black owned entity should have thought of that, and I know it's easy to say hindsight is twenty twenty, but damn, nobody would think to fucking trademark our, the shit that that shit is wrong. Mm. Ball, I'm not gonna sit here and say someone else should have thought of it. That shit is wrong. The Balkan company. That shit is wrong. I they might have got. I don't support Walmart as it is anyway, but it's I'm not definitely Walmart. not gonna support some, them now. Some company called Balkan. Well, fuck them too. That's crazy. Right out of Maryland. As I'm watching fucking We Own This City. 
<laughs> I'm on episode three. That shit is crazy. Great more shit. of this. Yeah. It's more of this. I'm, yeah. trying, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm caught up. Yeah. It's more of this. Yeah, I got, I'm still behind a couple. You finish how many? The whole season? It's only it's six only episodes. Six, yeah. And it's, only, it's five out. Comes out every Monday. So the fifth one came out last night. Oh, I ain't see it yet. I ain't know it. And I'm, I'm in the middle of the fifth one. I'm not caught up. I'm in the middle of the last one. That shit is just but it's a great like, The more I think about it, it's just like, for what June team stands for, mm-hmm. like what it means. Mm-hmm. And then, but we kept hearing about it prior to the national home. holiday. Uh-huh. So somebody going out, trademarking the phrase, because it was only a phrase in the beginning, prior to it becoming a holiday. They should let me get that shit. That it's was my birthday. I should, I, should have, I should have rights. That's some smart shit. No, it's some evil shit. <laughs> What's even scarier is Ice wants the rights to Juneteenth after what he told us he would do when he gets power. <laughs> no, no, I said with five, I don't have 500 mil. So I could get Juneteenth. It might be a, might be a problem. But Juneteenth might be your way your, to your get ticket, your 500 mil. Your ticket mil, to getting that money. And then you would just turn on everyone. Because now everybody that uses this you would turn on us. uses this with their either License. licensing <laughs> or with their okay. Uh-huh. Nobody that is crazy, dog. Sick. That's some sick shit. They gangsters. The more, yeah, this is. A, they gangsters. The more I look at you, it look like you want to own Juneteenth too, yo. Nah, that's just a different. Bring it back to Virginia. <laughs> 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 Still put a statue out there, you. Yo, yo, if you bring that Juneteenth trademark that's back, some sick shit, my nigga. Oh, y'all get Juneteenth and Chris Brown and Teddy Riley in them. <laughs> Push. That is incredible. Oh, that man. is Missy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Virginia might be trying to get niggas out of here on the little music <laughs> list. Nah, they would. They no, got no, some. No, but we no, might. But we know the history, it. so we won't acknowledge them. <laughs> <laughs> it's still what? Virginia. I don't know what that means. We acknowledge Georgia. No, we acknowledge Atlanta. <laughs> we don't acknowledge the rest of Georgia. Even <laughs> niggas that's not from Atlanta. Be, no, I don't, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. No, they don't. But all right, it's cool. And I suck at geography. So, how about I that? I want to stab you. I know, yo, you, do. I know you do. <laughs> You're my man, though. <laughs> yo. uh, um, what y'all, that's what y'all think about um, Michael Jordan denying Idris Elba the right to play him in the uh, in the in the documentary? Uh, I didn't even hear about this. <laughs> Idris Elba wanted to play Michael Jordan in a movie, and uh, Mike said no. First off, I'm gonna give you five eleven, six feet. I mean, that doesn't matter. It does Act- matter. No, it doesn't. Actors I- don't be. You think that all them dudes on Winning Time are fucking seven foot? Them niggas is tall. That nigga that plays Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is tall. He looks tall on screen. To Hollywood, it don't matter. They can make you look how tall they want you to be. He's so tall, we'll not get his name and call him that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I just think that Michael Jordan is a perfectionist. And I think he want a better resemblance of who he is. It just Elba follows me on social, so <laughs> what do you want me to do? I, he's dope. I'm just saying I see why. It just you can't be Mike, yeah. yo. He wasn't British, and you, and you couldn't be 007 either. But we let it ride. As he a was people. British. We didn't let that ride. No, we didn't. We did ride. We did no. say, hey, yeah, he should be that. No, but we, we didn't. I said off the rip, get this out of here. No, I no, didn't say that. I, I said that out the well, gate. Well, you such a cool. That's terrible. <laughs> I said such no, a cool. No, no, no. My problem with that, just, uh, I've explained plenty of times. We Why? Let's go make our own shit. We he don't does have be his that. own shit. It's called Luther. He's a, a, exactly. a spy if, type. Make your own shit. If you're an actor, you would throw your name out there for the huge blockbusters Sam, that pay all the money, right? England. England. So I won't be mad at them. No, you're from England, one. You don't have to be white to fucking work at MI6. All the CIA operatives in the United States, all the NSA Correct. operatives are not of one ethnicity. I'm talking about 007. I, me 007. too. So why can't the 007 James be a Bond, woman? 007. Why can't 007 be a black man, et cetera, et cetera? I didn't want none of that, to be honest. Leave that shit the way it is. Yeah, go make it something different. Go ahead. That was always my take on it. Yo, that. for somebody being from Europe, I mm-hmm. mean from England specifically, mm-hmm. that is probably an honor for yeah. him to play 007. So to give it to Idris Elba and not give it to him, and people said they didn't want to see him play that role because he was black, that, to me, that's ignorant. I agree with you. That's why I want to give him all the roles. I think he should have been Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> so why you get mad when they do it to Michael a, B. Jordan? I have a list. I have a list of people. Mark that, Zuckerberg. Yeah, Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> why you get mad when they do it to Michael day? B. Jordan? Then? Do what? He get all the roles. He could be Michael B. Jordan. I don't think Michael Jordan. I don't think that's true. 
You be getting mad when you see Michael B. Jordan popping up in another movie. What if Michael Jordan? No, Michael, Michael Jordan? B. Jordan gets a lot of roles because he he fits he fits something. I'm talking about like blockbuster roles, and no, they don't be that. They don't be that. I wonder who Mike I know was. the difference between some of these movie budgets. Who y'all think Mike wants to play Mike? Mike? Somebody talk. <laughs> Somebody that just Mike. resembles him, yo. Mike? Mike, that kind of nigga. Nah, I'll, I'll play me. <laughs> or at least you got to get a nigga. These old niggas no, no, no. are so petty. Mike, LeBron is Space Jam now, yo. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. We don't want to see the Mike, real Michael Jordan story. Yo, we got the real Space Jam with LeBron, who's going to be number one on the scoring list. <laughs> Top five on the assist list. Like, go sit down, run a team, yo. yo. Just go run a team. Deal with Brittany Renner and keep her away from PJ Washington. Yo. Wait, yo. Go you deal make, with your you team. Make, you no, no, think. we know what's coming. We know what's coming. We know what the next one is. LeBron, LeBron got a movie coming out now. He's doing. He's redoing House Party. I'm, is it serious? No, no, it's a movie. It's a movie. He's serious. reimagining the movie House Party. Look at his face, yo. I know that because. My mom is glued to Wendy Williams' show, which is not the Wendy Williams show every morning. Mm -hmm. And they had the actor on there, and he was talking about it. Jacob Lattimore. And I think he's going to be... Oh, that was Jacob Lattimore? Oh, man, I love Jacob Lattimore as a singer. But he's an actor, too. And a TV host. He does do a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so LeBron is going to be... Producing. Oh, he's producing. He's, he's producing the new... Oh, okay. Version of House Party. I mean, like we got a new version of Space Jam. Who's Jacob Lattimore gonna be? I'm assuming play. I'm assuming play. <laughs> Jacob Lattimore, Rotimi is in this. DC Young Fly, Alan Maldonado, Maldonado, like a man boy, Tossin Cole. Boy in it. Oh, man yeah. boy is there. Melvin Gregg. It might be dope. I, I'll, I'll go. When they say reimagine, are they, are they uh, fresh printing us? They bell I think hopefully. I, I heard Jacob say that this is its own project. Uh, he shout out the people that wrote it, uh, and he said it should be a nice standalone that pays homage to mm. uh, the original. The original Bel Air did a really great job at that. They did. They made me want everybody. To I leave don't know if Space Jam did that because I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. You saw it, right? It wasn't for me. It was good. You said it wasn't good though. I didn't say it wasn't good. I, I for this generation, yeah. They did, they did what they were supposed to do for that. Is this out already? No. All right, I'm watching. I'm going to watch. I'll pay for it. If, yeah. if for nothing do, else, do just Do y'all know this is, the house, this is the sixth house party movie? It is? Yes. I double checked. When you say six, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> the one after five, 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 three, four, four, five, six. No, I'm saying, but Kid and Play were in the first five? Kid and Play did the first three. They and then the TLC and, and um, Immature did four. Yeah, and TLC then they and did one called uh, House Party, like a night. To forget or something like that. Ken played Billy made cameos in that movie, and now this is number six. I it never was, saw nothing but the it first was just one. It was just one and two. And no, three, nigga. You out your mind. Three counts. That's what with Bernie Mac and all and Chris Tucker and them in there. I didn't even know they was in there. So oh it might be one, one and two, two for me. Y'all y'all are, are bugging. House party three is up there. For you new niggas. <laughs> okay. For, for you okay. new in the house niggas. Nigga, y'all know that scene right there. I don't care. You was in the said. house during the party, y'all. Y'all know this scene. Yo, <laughs> you was watching house party, party when Kid had dreads. <laughs> oh, right. shit. Well, I'm not watching was. Kid with dreads in the house party. He's supposed to have a high top. He old as hell right there. That's like y'all continuing to watch Stranger Things when all them niggas is 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, they grandparents on Stranger Things, man. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, no. no I've yeah, never seen no. this in my life. Yeah, no. Okay. I'm not even going to hold you. 07 house party? No, that's just when the clip went up. It was good. Yeah, no. House party three is on that list though. <laughs> See, that's my pen. We telling him it's not. I'm telling you and it is. He telling us that it is. Because I have my own list. We didn't, I don't care about your list. He was in the house when we was partying. But why he don't acknowledge that? <laughs> Joe, I can acknowledge that. House. What is wrong with you? I don't have to agree with you. You don't acknowledge it by putting some shit on our list. I'm not putting it on your list. But I'm you, telling you, I said it's on the house party. You said the, on the list. list. Yeah. We are part of the He can't so put something in the list. I can put something on my the list. Yes, I can. My the list. list. <laughs> yes, the fuck I can. I don't care what my you old list. niggas think. My the list. I my don't the care. List. My the list. <laughs> you do whatever you want on my the list. I, I, I damn sure can. House party three is on it. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. They was killing that Cat Williams special. 
I didn't think it was as bad what? as they, yeah. as they, no, as they made I, it out to be. I've heard either rave reviews or oh, it whoa, was whoa, trash. Slow down. <laughs> you said it was really good. I you did got, not. You did say it was really good. I did not good. say it was, it was really different, good. but it was super fun. You never heard me say it was really good. I never said that. Said he enjoyed it. Yes. I enjoyed it. Really good. I Let's like save it. that for the delirious. And like, don't fuck my comedy palette up. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> like, it's impossible. Yeah, but yeah, you, you can't even I said I either. said that I enjoyed it, and see what they killing him for. I I like that he did. That's they right, they right. killing him for. They say that he pandered to cancel culture. We've spoken to him, so we know his views, mm-hmm. which is if I'm great, I have to adapt. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna kill him for that, mm-hmm. especially at his age with all that he's gone through. Mm-hmm. Like the nigga done fought eleven year olds in front of us. <laughs> like y'all don't want him to like try to do things differently at some point. So yeah, I didn't think it was horrible like everybody else, but they kicking it's it. like they they, they kicking they, ass. These niggas just want again. People just want the the <clears throat> outrage. Like they want him to come up here and say all this offensive shit, so that people get offended and it makes this big news cycle. And then everybody can say, "Oh, y'all just being sensitive." Like he told us, "Yo, if you can't be funny without offending people, maybe you're not funny." I don't think he shouldn't have had two hats on. <laughs> Wait, that ain't a second. That's not a hat, bro. It's a, it's a scarf. scarf or some shit. It looked like a scully, though. I ain't gonna hold you. That's two hats. <laughs> I'm like with Joe on this one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we turn to the side. Yo, we don't like yo, this deep dive the, on the, the Yeah, the things that y'all jump in and try to unpack, <laughs> whatever that is, <laughs> it shouldn't be on underneath his hat. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that. You know, and I, the white not, belt was a different <laughs> choice as well. <laughs> You know how cat is. And if we, yeah, that's why, and I ain't the fucking fashion police, so I'm shutting up. But uh, the one complaint that was valid, that the sound, the sound wasn't the greatest. Oh, really? The sound wasn't the greatest. They cut cut budgets over there in Netflix. Oh, yeah, they got rid of people in Netflix. Mm -hmm. Uh, Allegedly, I say that because I haven't fact searched all of the, all of the diversity departments. Oh, really? Yeah. Shocker. Hmm. You're lying. Coast is clear, guys. That's what they said internally. Wow. Netflix kneecapped its own efforts to champion diverse shows, axed writers say. See, love hearing from the See, and this is what I don't like. And then I'm th- tossing this to y'all. Okay. When Joe leaves the company and says something about the old company, the headline reads totally different. <laughs> than Facts. That. The axed writer just got to say something, and we published it. Same grade. As if he's Same a nice, <laughs> yeah, as if he's a nice, calm person. Uh-huh. Wow. Anyway, enough about me. You gentlemen. No, nah, I was going to say the same thing. Like, sometimes once you get fired, mm-hmm. your complaint don't really fall on the most alive ears. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, you wasn't saying that when you was working there. mm they fired everybody. 150 full time uh, Netflix employees axed. Dozens of contract writers were shown the door. Bitter tweets flooded and uh, flooded in after the job cuts were announced. Many of those writers were part of Netflix's large scale diversity communications initiatives. And they said that the struggling streaming giant had left those departments, like the staffers who used to work there, gutted. Mm. Con- read, read the. The Contract, contractors across all of Netflix's uh, Netflix's diverse social media channels got the axe Tuesday, including the black community focused strong black lead, uh, Latinx focused Contoro, Asian American focused Golden, and the LGBTQ plus focused Most. Multiple writers were likewise laid off from Netflix's fandom blog to them. And if I'm mispronouncing any of this stuff, it's not purposely, uh, which had already seen a prior round of layoffs last month. Many of these select social media initiatives were only a few months old. Golden had only been introduced in January, but in that short time, the platforms were appreciated by their select communities. Sites like the Hollywood uh, Hollywood Reporter lauded strong black lead for allowing black voices to amplify content that appealed to the community while at the same time bringing conversation about black folks. Media is mainstream. All right, clipped them all. Yeah, mm-hmm. they hit a check mark. All oh, y'all. They said all that, uh, all that shit that we was doing in 2020. So... Been enough. I'll be honest. Our big shows. Are I could clip Netflix. I could. I've been saying that for a while. Now. I know, but I wasn't with you on that as you were going. Uh huh. Today and the, the more and more that I just peruse, I don't watch anything I don't over there. Ain't killing. 
I don't need it. The only cool. thing they got right now is shit that my wife likes, like the uh, dating shows and, you know, all the girly, girly It's just so many people that are basically, shit. in my opinion, taking their um, model and ran with it. Yeah, and doing it better. And doing a better job. Yeah. Doing it better. Cheaper. Having access to, to full catalogs Cheaper. already. It's yeah. been a lot of that. Yeah. You know? Like, they, like these, these companies popping up now. Like More shit, better shit. Yo, yeah. I, I read a meme the other day. It was like, yo, ain't shit on Netflix. No wonder it always lead to fucking. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't have That's, nothing up there. They really don't. I'd never go to it anymore. The content is, yeah. It's, they, they got they, they got they, they, uh, big boy shows. Like, you see they got Seinfeld. Things coming back. No, I'm saying. Oh, their, 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 their shows, original content. Their original shows. content yeah. shows. They have a couple. And I think with all of them coming back, mm-hmm. you had Ozark. We got Stranger Things. Uh, I told you I was saying Money Heist not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Like, they're big shows. They We ain't got to focus on this shit. Yeah, no but the big shows, you know what? I can't say what we'll do, but I don't need Netflix. Mm-hmm. I don't need Netflix. To see Me either. Big shows. I don't see mm-hmm. them. Man, I'm I don't you, know I'm, if I'm I want to see I'm another saying, Money Heist. I'll see them. That could be their yeah, banking order. Like, I don't know if I want to see another Money Heist because it's going to not be the most. I ain't finished the last one. Narcos is dead. Ozark is dead. I'm, yeah. I'm like they, they. I think they saw what happened when Squid Game popped up and said, "Oh, we could just." Yeah. No. You oh, can't. okay. You can't. I know you can't. Once the subscribers. Leave. All the Netflix people got to do is uh go over to HBO Max and just look around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's over there. It's some it shit is. over there. Always. It's some shit over there. Always. O- always. Always. Hulu too. Not for nothing. Oh, listen, I go crazy on other apps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean about Netflix. Like, Yeah, you need a peacock I child. was fighting you just because of, again, conditioning. Yeah. And, and, hey, I got I have $20. So yeah, same. Why? But it's the, it's a bigger point. There is. It's that's a bigger the, point than having $20. Yeah. And, listen, Discovery Plus, ICE is making me get AMC Plus, Peacock, I'm still there, mm-hmm. fucking uh, Hulu. I think, not, not for nothing, I think um, Peacock and Disney Plus was the two that kind of stomped Netflix out. Because Peacock pulling all of the NBC content, mm-hmm. and then with Disney yeah. Plus taking all their yeah. Marvel and all of that shit, like, bro, Dis- they even took their original Netflix Marvel shows they had over there. Yeah. Disney was the uh, the the big friend uh, setting off the fight. You know how everybody got the big friend? Yeah. The six or seven, nigga. <laughs> then everybody else they, followed. They stole yeah. first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 first. they set it off. When the Giants set it off, and then we can all just pumble behind, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's what's going on with Netflix, man. Netflix, we're going to see how y'all operate this summer. I might take my $20, honestly. It might be a, I'm thinking about it. I might take it now. <laughs> Ozark is done. I was about to say, I, once Ozark left, yeah, I, have, I have to see. finish Ozark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Once I got Ozark. that out the way, I'm like, eh. Even though I heard they killed my bitch. Could you hurry up and finish it, please? For real. I'm not mad at that, though. I know they I did think it, you right? got about four. Yeah, I was about to say, you like four or five. Man. No, no, no. Yeah, y'all math is Yes, yes, yes. Y'all math is off. Yes, you math is off. You four or five, man. I put fifty dollars in last week. Oh, did you? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> I just meant today. I just oh, meant you good. You, you don't even put that. That's what I'm no, I like to be ahead. Oh, okay. I, I like to have some credit. That's <laughs> issue. Want to be behind? <laughs> yeah, let me give him fifty two. Fifty two. It's forty. Yeah, you can. But go ahead. And nobody counts. Two twenties and a ten. Math, man. Anyway, <laughs> um, what else? What else is really important? None of this is really important. Oh shit! In some really unimportant news, mm. Jermaine O'Neal lost his battle to Oreos. Excuse me. Claire. Jermaine O'Neal. Did, Jermaine O'Neal did an interview. Jermaine O'Neal, basketball uh-huh. player. You know who he is. Yeah. Um, great guy. Shout out to Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, did an interview where he said he got the call to be on the Heatles. Mm. Get it off the screen. You fucking my shit up. These guys can read. Uh, <laughs> he got the call to be on the Heatles. Knew that LeBron and Chris were going. Mm. And his agent called and said, yo, what you want to do? Mm. And, you know, uh, they have their their weight that they, they have to be at. And they gave him his, whatever it was. So mm. he was going to try and get there. But he said he was going to the cabinet every night at home. You know, he's older now. Mm-hmm. So he's looking at the Oreos in the cabinet. Some shit's be looking at you back. He said, that's what he said. He <laughs> don't, said. Don't have that milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be that's having ish. an open eye. That's ish. That's ish. Right talking right there. That's nah. ish. No, but, but all of us are Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah. Like, Facts. you walk to the cabinet at night and see some the Oreos with some milks in there. That shit do be talking back to you. And that's why I thought this should was a good farting. topic. Because while we understand that thinking, mm-hmm. it's the heatles. <laughs> Yeah. It's the millions. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah. The Oreos cost me that. I got my millions. I could go sit down. It's the Heatles. 
I'll get my ring. Yeah, couple. Now imagine me. <laughs> You'll never get your ring. <laughs> See what yeah. Candy do? Yeah, you're not going. You're mm-hmm. not See what Candy be doing? You're not going to get your ring, man. This nigga couldn't even go to Miami and get some buckets. <laughs> Can be a, a backup star. Imagine me with some side. Laffy Taffy's. It's some bullshit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Should be calling me, yo. I got to go to it. Nigga like, Pookie, Pookie, yo. <laughs> Pookie like, yo, man, I know, man. That shit be calling me. Nah, that's cool. You got the four-year dentist package, right? You got to go every day yeah, for four years. If you go every day for four years. <laughs> like Netflix. Shit. <laughs> oh, My shit man. like Netflix. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, that's crazy. So he couldn't make the weight because of the Oreos. <laughs> and, and didn't want to make the, <laughs> he, he, chose, Oreos. he chose Oreos Yo that's I feel nuts. him And he said it He said yo man It was a lot of work <laughs> It was like it. ice in high school That's what I was It's <laughs> not like <laughs> You know what It's a lot of work <laughs> I'm cool The no, Oreos said that 10,000 points 14,000 points later <laughs> the, Ice how many points You forget it <laughs> He said he got yo. triple double No discipline career. Discipline Discipline no, that's funny. Oreo hey, stop you from moving to Miami, teaming up with one of the best what is four motherfuckers Oreos? in history of the NBA. That's some shit. I'll fuck up some Oreos right now. A whole sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all just dump them shits in the milk. Y'all really not going to make me any fuck type Oreos. of award for guessing, the, and, and I'm speaking too soon, because basketball's not finished yet. That's the only reason I don't want them niggas to win. Because you're going to come in here with a, White horse <laughs> down the basement, <laughs> patting yourself on the back. But man. I do that twice a week. <laughs> twice a week, I come in here, pat myself on the back, and remind y'all of something I was right about that y'all were too stupid to see. I called it too. You may have. Mm. I called two sports winners in preseason. Come one, on, yo. One remains to be seen, but you definitely did. I gave you, you a call. Yeah, I know, but y'all you have to make some type of. Drawing or something for me. Come together. Oh, you want a drawing? Something. I thought we'd get you a nice little statuette. I'll take that. Whatever that is. We're gonna put you it. You know, whatever. You put that on your mantle, bro. I'm not giving you nothing, shit, nigga. Give I'm your props. Face. That's what you get. It's like nah, I'm you called it. that. You called it though. Yeah. You, you called the, the Rams. The Rams. What you? How do you do? It like never a, waver um, too. That's what I gotta give you. You never because some people are like. Yeah, how do you do like a golden crystal ball? I ain't waver off the Warriors either. No, I said never waver. Some niggas be like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Especially if shit look a little shaky at one point. Nope. You, st- you stuck with your uh, with your prediction. Next year, that's going to be a lot tougher for me to do. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a lot tougher for me to do. And, but I'm going to try it. Parody is getting I am gonna try it. leveled off. Yeah, but they bugging. They got uh, Denver at the head of that division because Russell Wilson is over there. They got to relax. And I told y'all Kyler Murray wasn't getting no contract this year. Sure. <laughs> they shopping his ass. <laughs> they are shopping him. They wild. <laughs> they wild. But I get it. It's Arizona. I'm not mad. I ain't Ari- mad. It's Arizona. I don't know what that means. Culture. Mm. But that was my thing with them. It was like, yo, he's he's great. I would take him on my team in heartbeat. Mm-hmm. But it's About Arizona. Twenty something teams would. I wouldn't he's a stubborn. Him. I wouldn't give him the money he's looking for in year three. Shit. You? I don't know what he's looking for. He want to be up there with the big boys. Yeah, he got to be he under the, under the no. big boys, but yeah, he can't be up there with the big boys. I'll give you that. I just won't give you that right now. Yeah, now nah, year three, you can't get that. You, stra- you strapping my team? Yeah, you, you strapping me up. I can't do that to you, you right now. You can't do that. NFL I, salary, I will apologize. NFL to- salary cap is fake, mm-hmm. so they could pay him and be just fine. Not paying for well, I'm not gonna say all that. It ain't. That I can't fake. tell nobody. It how ain't to that spend fake like it's baseball. I can't tell nobody how to spend baseball. Bread. Fake. Baseball don't have a salary cap. Oh, okay. they do NFL they want. has a. F- I think mostly. even with Ish, I mean, not Ish. Parks is right, but I think even under those guidelines, you got to do the tricks and shit. Fam, still business. Salary cap. Fam, fam, still fam, business. Fam, 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 fam. The Saints were seventy-one million dollars over the salary cap this year and signed Tyron Matthew and Jarvis Landry and are still shopping around for more players like. The salary cap is fake. What I'm saying, I don't the, know. The, the, they'll restructure the, some shit to yeah, make, they it, told, make they, it work. They pay yeah. out somebody. Yeah, 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 we'll pay you this. And restructure we'll move it that. over here. Move it over here. No but you're still gonna make your same money. We're just gonna yeah, move it around. Move it around. I'm, I'm not bad at nobody getting. Nah, no you money. gotta come ask me to restructure. 
You can't just go yeah. doing shit. Not just that. I'm not mad at nobody getting no money, but if it was my company, after three years, I wouldn't give. Because what's happening now is they be front loading these deals with the uh, the guaranteed bread. Mm-hmm. So if that's what your, everybody wants. You mean want. if it was your team? Yeah, I wouldn't give him that so money. So if it was New Orleans for. June team, he, what would the name of your should be? <laughs> New, or, New Orleans June <laughs> team. <laughs> Red Velvet Cheesecake, yeah. nigga. That's my team name. But anyway, no, nah, I, I just wouldn't give him a heavy deal like that in year. year. He ain't throw for 4,000 yards. Like, eh, he can't. Nah. I'll give you a little bit of credit. Uh, um... Damn, what's my what's some guy's name? Jalen Brunson. You're right. Mm-hmm. He's gonna get paid. Only yeah. for the maps. Only for the maps. Only for the maps, but he is gonna get that ticket. And Ish said between twenty five and thirty million dollars. My argument was no other team has given him that. Dallas has to give it to him. He has played himself into that position. They cannot let him go. Mm. They can't let him go. He did. The Knicks don't even have the space to entertain it. Mm. Y'all got money? We don't yeah, have to thirty million to give to uh, Jalen Brunson. We don't. We, nice. we got to move, shake, make trades, do all this fucking wild shit. Mm. Shout out to the playoffs. These playoffs have been um, outside of Golden State. I like the blowouts series. too, though. Yes, I know. Uh, I know. I, I know. I know, I know y'all be mad at the blowouts. I like it. Stomp on the other team's soul because it's a precursor to what type of game we're gonna get the next game. True. It's a mental thing. Yeah, it's imp- it's important. Like I liked seeing Jason Tatum struggle in game. What was that? Three. Three. All the uh, commentators killing him, mm-hmm. and then you know he's coming out to get twenty four in the first half or first yeah. quarter the yeah, next game. I want to see 40, nigga. Yeah, some people show up when it's time to get angry. True. Yeah, and some people Don't. like Jimmy Butler didn't show up last game. Mm-hmm. He's about to be an assassin because he's capable of that. I enjoy that chess, the chess game in basketball that way. I said just me game. In sports. In and sports, you know what period. I like, too? We, we, don't comp- we don't really touch the coach, it. The, the coaching. coaching in this The coaching in, in, this, in game. this series right here is is amazing. Yeah, from game three to yes, game four, the, diff- uh, the changes that the Celtics made, mainly Al Horford dropping back so low under the pick. Like, that put them in a frenzy. We don't give Jason Kidd for the credit he deserved in that game seven. Wait, Jason Kidd, Game Seven. What game? We talking when Matt, when uh, Dallas played Phoenix, he made it a concerted effort to oh, to double. You Booker. back to Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He made him double. We don't give coaches they adjustment props. Mm-hmm. He doubled Booker and got the ball out of Booker's hands and said anybody else could beat us except him. This is a great series, yo. Oh yeah, I got winning. <sighs> it's tight. Boston. Yeah, I still like Boston, but well, it could go either way. It, could it really could. No, I picked Miami, but it could go either way. Boston's going. They're the healthier team right now. Their medical staff. See, look, that's when they get to the other the things. The intricacies. Yeah. Their yeah. medical staff and just what they pulled off in the last two games is amazing. Al Hofford should not be out there, and he should not look like that. True. Out there. He's more than just he's, out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah. number one, I'm saying he shouldn't yeah. be out there. Period. <laughs> number two, he shouldn't be out there doing that. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. wilding. They walked Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum back there and brought him back in 10 and 15 minutes. They did. Mm-hmm. Miami is more banged up. Miami is more banged up than they're letting on. Yeah, Lowry is a little off. JB is a little off. Yeah. So, and that's why I'm giving the edge to Boston. Yo, Kobe kids, boy. And unfortunately, as much as it's going to hurt, we have to get the. uh, My mom's going to be mad. I'm saying Steph Curry is going to teach Jason Tatum that. Can only be one high skin sniper around at a time, buddy. <laughs> Your time is coming. His <laughs> name not yet. is Wardell. St- yet no. No. Hell no. There's only one man that could suck the life out of your city. Mm-hmm. Not the arena. <laughs> in about in about 50 seconds. Mm-hmm. Oh. He man. Will just, yo, you. Oh yeah, that's yeah. <sighs> I Rob. love you, Stephen Curry. Yo, dang. All jokes aside, <laughs> dog. You. I'm so glad. I used I to love to watching you. AI play, love watching Mike and Kobe. Watching him is just a treat. Imagine, it now is. you get to look at real niggas. It's a treat, yo. I'm ignoring you, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a treat, yo. Now, now look what you get to look at, yo, right? You, that's, like when the te- that's like when flat screens came out. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you'd be shocked when he missed. Yeah, you'd yeah, really be shocked yeah, when he yeah. missed, his, dog. His misses look good. Yeah, they be in and the out. The misses look yeah, good. Yeah, they be in and out, hit the mm. back of the rim. 
This nigga. Gutsy, like, oh, she tried that. <laughs> Damn. He's special. Like you said, though, watching him just <laughs> had an entire arena just die, like, off a shot is crazy. That experience. You can't teach it. And when he don't have the ball, back to coach, like, when they want to give him a break, or when the offense need to run through somebody else, when he ain't moving around through 90 picks, and it becomes Jordan Poole time, I like watching that even. Mm-hmm. Let me see how the young boy is going to get acclimated Nephew. to the pressure of, hey, Steph's chilling right now. Mm-hmm. We threw you. Yeah, it's your turn. Step up. And he steps up. Mm-hmm. They let Kevin Looney get 20 points. He ain't had 20 points since his freshman year in college. Dallas going to be all right when Rudy Gobert go over there. Mm. Hassan Whiteside, JaVale McGee. Any of them. Mm-hmm. One of them. Any of them. It don't take much. One of them, Dwight Howard. Let Dwight Howard go, go take half a million and go over there. All right. Y'all pod then. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was genius. I, I'm with it. Yeah. He with it too. Nah. I, <laughs> hey, we're believing that. White side. <laughs> white side are fitting good with him. If he could keep his head together. Dwight Howard over there is scary. It's JaVel just, McGee's over. He's my favorite low cost center, but anyway. JaVel? JaVel? Mm-hmm. JaVel's right now. the man. Right now? Yeah. Definitely one to scrapper in your squad. What? This is the way he turned that shit around. There was whole segments named after him. He I'm was talking about centers. Guy. The Knicks got an issue on our hand. We got to see about what we're doing with Mitch. Mitchell Robinson ain't bad. I was I'm talking him. about everybody else. No, I was dissing him. He ain't bad. Him with a point guard? No, if you let him go. Nah, I won't yet. let him go. Because you know what's going to happen? Typical Knicks shit. Yeah, but now. Ball out somewhere. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, y'all going to let him go. He going to go to somebody and, and average 19 and 11. He's going to be great. But the, we need a point guard. So, Anyway, enough sports. Enough sports. What else is important? Anything? Jesse, um... The, the next 30 for 30 that ESPN got, it's on the N1 mixtape era. Mm. Mm. No, I'm ready, though. Yeah. I, I just saw the... Um, oh, the I got to get some Walmart Juneteenth ice cream with that one. <laughs> crimp, crimp. What's oh, the other just target? what I need. ESPN to tell me about the N1 <laughs> era. <laughs> oh, man. Who else white can we get to tell our stories? <laughs> Who else was going to... <laughs> <laughs> what other white person could tell our stories, yo? Let me see. This guy, man. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Not Netflix. They fired up all the black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Netflix don't give a damn no more. No, I'm talking shit, but this is great. This yeah, is great. It's going to be great. Uh, May 31st. I'm going to definitely watch that. Yeah, now nah, I'm watching the N1 this. series before we get a Rucker series? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because N1 went on tour. Yeah. N1 was bigger. I'm not going to say all that. was bigger. I'm not going to say that. Stop was bigger. Stop it, And one was bigger. Stop it. Nationally. Stop it, Yes. Yes. Get out of your regional heads. And one was bigger. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Stop your inside house nigga jargon. Stop it. Stop. What the hell is this in the house Very easy. Very easy, Corey. Explain it. Explain it to us. Where we just Let me not insult you. Explain it to us. All right. I'll take it to music. If one birth, how could one be bigger? Nicki Minaj is bigger than Little Kim. Little Kim birthed that style, and Nicki takes it and blows it up. Same thing. Something can start here. The niggas that created hip-hop ain't nowhere near as big as these hip-hop acts today. Yes, somebody can take what you started Y'all be and trying to be right it. in the example. And Don't I example some, me. I want to give him some pushback, though. What? I still I'm, want I want to give you pushback. <sighs> Nicki Minaj is huge. For 20... The 2015s and the 2020 era. Nicki Minaj, I mean, Little Kim was on the front page of international magazines for about five years. Okay. The front, the cover. Okay. So you can't necessarily say she was bigger. She might be bigger in money because money wasn't the same I'm, back then. I'm not even, I wasn't even talking but about But as money. far as culturally, my nigga, Little Kim was something different. Fair. I'm not, and this is no discredit to Nicki Minaj. And at I all. do think that Little Nicki Kim Minaj was huge. is bigger she, than Little She Kim. probably was, but she is. She is. She is. It's, it's culturally I, dog that's why I'm a, not y'all not gonna trick me with that shit that y'all are great at which is here's an example that you might be able to understand I don't like that example in this I would I would think that the, the, uh, that this is a little more aligned if I don't think that M1 was Lil Kim sorry I don't I, I, was there. I, wasn't, I was there. I, I was there. I was outside. Was Them kids. niggas went on tour I didn't see sold out stadiums in a ring they wasn't the Harlem Globetrotters it, they wasn't and that shit was sta- a lot of that shit was staged. They did. They, they, Sam, there's Kobe no and there's no. Allen Iverson was wait, coming to the Rutgers. Yeah, I'm about to say there's yeah. no N one player. Wait, hold up. Okay, go there's ahead. no N one player that went on to be. Yeah. None of the NBA niggas came and one. did N one shit. Y'all got some dope street yeah. niggas had a camcorder and went on tour. Great. 
The Rucker's the Rucker, dog. Yeah, you need I, more than I, know, I, I went I on a tour them, to tell me no, that they are bigger than Rucker. Because ain't no nigga going to let you throw the ball off their head or throw the ball through their legs. It was entertainment. It wasn't the same type of and, basketball. And we that's know the, that. That's but what I'm saying, I'm telling you that the... The Rucker was one of it was the the legendary New York court. Yes, one hundred percent. There were other courts no, no, no. across see, see, the see, country, see. though. Not saying I'm, Rucker is still at the top. I, yeah. Do you hear the words? I'm saying Rucker is still at the top. No, you saying, I, but your words are. It's not at the top. It's not one of the. It's it's the. the, it's the there we go. It's the Rucker is that court. Got it. Mm-hmm. There were still other courts. It was still like, okay, you played here, you did this, you did Venice Beach, you did these other courts. Drew League. Drew League, exactly. But the Rucker was the Rucker. Mm-hmm. Not taking anything away from that. I'm telling you that for a nigga in, I don't know, Chicago, they had day court. True. They didn't necessarily. They didn't have just, Kenny Anderson. They didn't have Mark Jackson. All right, man. They, didn't, they, they didn't have. Nah, ice, wait, hold on. Let me talk to Ice real quick. Let me talk to Ice real quick. And this is my problem with. I'm not saying he's wrong. Ice, the history of New York is, yeah, Rutgers at the top, but we've always had that. West Forth is that. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, what's the church? Riverside. Like, mm-hmm. like, like yeah. mm-hmm. we have always had that. Yeah, and we're, we're and to that, they've produced the greats that went on. Rod Strickland, they've all come from mm-hmm. Steph Marbury. Mm-hmm. All of them. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, now, I, Ice is swaying me a little bit. I don't like his and one argument. That that what well, I'm not, yeah. but but I'm not arguing what he's saying about there being other great courts yeah. about fucking Venice Beach and all. I'm not arguing that. DC, Baltimore, and Baltimore. one has Baltimore. never been on this list. True. Or the ball players. See, this is the thing: the ball players from and one can't go to the Rucker and get fifty. They can't. You can't go to the Rucker against Jamal Crawford and stop him from doing whatever the fuck you want to do. It's hoopers all over the world that know. The niggas from the Rucker that didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. I Yo, Sham God is from New York. I don't even want to talk to niggas no more. Sham God is from New York. Look at this shit. Look. It's the only Skip. one. Skip. And we know where Skip is from, but look what it's labeled. The and one street baller who made the NBA. That's what I'm, but I'm just saying. Skip, the brand. Where? Skip's <laughs> popularity <laughs> came from Rucker Park. It did yeah, not come from yeah. and one. I'm not telling oh, you that. I, I understand that. I'm agreeing with you. I'm telling you that the more known brand... The bigger one was and one, which is why you see an article that says Ray for Austin, the and one street baller who made the NBA, not the Rucker Park player who made the NBA. Yeah, but that's some article that I'm don't just, know. That's what it was inside. That's, that's publicist right. shit. Though. Yeah, that was somebody right. that wasn't okay. there. I get what you're saying, man. I get what His fun. name is Skip to my Lou. Like, look, <laughs> NBA ambassador. Look, 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 look. And he players, wasn't named that at and one. Players like Latrell Sprewell, Kevin Garnett, and Jamal Crawford brought and one to the national spotlight. That's what I'm, I'm saying, that there were players, not saying that you came from here, and one became a name, my nigga. That became... No argument from us. Culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and one mixtape shit was culture at one point. It was. Yes. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to tell you, niggas. Rucker Park ain't have none of that. Yes, Rucker Park, I'm, it's not trying to knock them, but that's one aspect. You can't it's, knock them. I'm, you can't. But you, you absolutely but cannot but knock them. you made them. a comparison in calling and one no, he, Lil' man. Kim. I mean, Rucker Park, Lil' Kim. Be- only because he said this is what started. He said you can't have the and one doc without giving us who birthed and one. I that's why that. I made that. You can make it. You can make any doc But you that's want. why I made that. I'm just saying that an example of one who birthed the other one and the other one grew to be bigger, Rucker Park birthed and one. Do we all agree on that? There would be no and one without Rucker. I would agree with mm-hmm. that. Okay, so Rucker birthed and one. And one then grew on to be a bigger brand than Rucker Park was. Yeah, but Rucker Park wasn't a brand. Yeah. I compare N1 more to I'm Harlem Globetrotters yeah. far, as far as their business uh, and how it was yeah. ran. I don't, I don't I don't think Rucker. Brand. You the one who brought Rucker into this discussion when I'm mentioning the N1 doc. Because what I said was... But you're was, comparing them now with Globe. You should have yeah. said Globetrotters then. That's not true, Ice. And that's why, I mean, y'all will try to confuse me out of my argument. All I said was, wow, the N1 story before the Rucker story. The end. I didn't compare. And then y'all the, said you I didn't compare. I did not compare the two. I didn't say one shouldn't happen. I said, "Wow, that happened first. And then you went all into all these big business reasons as to why. Mm-hmm. So if we talking about business, I'm comparing N1 to the Harlem Globetrotters, and in that there is no comparison, right? If we talking about the Rucker, I'm talking about a place where 
basketball legends on their off day and against their agents and coaches better judgment came to showcase skills on hard cement against street niggas before Instagram. It cannot compare. It's a merging of hip hop and basketball culture. It was in Harlem. All you niggas couldn't even go up there. That is true. But go ahead. Y'all get y'all shit off. No, I, I, I'm I looking forward to watching the N1 doc. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it too. Watch. Watch it. Me too. I'm gonna watch Me too, Ice. <laughs> Me too. I won't watch it with you. I'm gonna get nah, my tall white teeth. Nah, I do want to watch it with you. Nah, invite it, Ice. Fuck nah, out of here. Invite it to watch it with me. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're gonna watch that shit together, nigga. <laughs> what we doing? We're gang. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Come on, come on. Where we at? Where we at? Proud of your development as a broadcaster, too. <laughs> Take a compliment, man. He won't. It's fine. Just only, only, only from fucking women. <laughs> you take him from them. Yeah, that's true too. Hey, yo, dog. You don't. What's wrong? He with just got to compliment himself. <laughs> I, it's my point. Lastly, about uh, the Rucker and N one. I know we offer that, yeah. but outside, I thought about it. Like the tunnel. Mm -hmm. The tunnel is regional, mm -hmm. but not really. <laughs> It's legendary for outside of the, the region. In, its impact correct. has vibrated for like, like still mm -hmm. <laughs> to this mm -hmm. day. And, and mm -hmm. what it's produced, yeah, we're going to talk about other clubs more. But the tunnel has a place in time. And that's how I feel about the rucker. But real quick. It I'm is saying, regional. You're right. That's all I was trying to say. It is. You're but right. Like what the there, tunnel, but it's the impact. But what the tunnel means to you ain't the same what the tunnel means to a nigga from L.A. That's not ain't true. He just don't know that. They don't know. He just don't know that. He just don't know that people that he likes have been influenced by people that are tunnel based. That could be true. It still doesn't hold the same significance to him. Uh, to his knowledge. That's true. No. To his knowledge. No. It's the him. same thing that it's the same thing Vince just screamed on me about. Yo, y'all can't get on that podcast and talk independent shit without talking about E40, which if you're talking about Master P, then you're still talking about the Bay. What he's trying to say is. Yo, y'all don't even know how the Bay has impacted things that impact your daily life. That's it's true. the same exact thing. Now, okay, hold an a, a nigga from New York when they announced that two forty, uh, two, um, excuse me, two short E forty verses, it was mad people. I don't want to see the shit. I don't talk like, music with those people. Joe, Do you hear of, the people all, I call and talk music with? I, I get that. Me and you talk music. Like what I'm I don't to talk music. To you, Keep though, them is people just, out our talks. People. A, a, a Bay Area legend like E-40, who's actually a hip-hop legend. I'm not even going to just reduce him to the best, true. Thanks. A, a, a legend like E-40, what he means to them is not the same what he means to someone over here. True. Even if they don't know it. Even if they don't know the whole what, what he meant for independence. They might not know that, but what they he They know that he spared means, Biggie Smalls, who's top five. They don't know almost. that. Th then there's influence and impact there that you just don't acknowledge. Thank you, even E40, for it's letting Biggie knowing. Smalls leave that day and yeah. us getting to what we yes. got from him. Yes. Mm. That matters. There's people that's <laughs> never heard that story. I it's, don't talk hip-hop with them. It's but Joe, I get that you don't talk hip-hop with them, but that also does not mean that they can't talk hip-hop. They can't talk with me. That's fine. They don't want to talk about it in your little th in the lemon tree or wherever the fuck you get your hair cut at. <laughs> the fuck? That's all I'm saying. I don't it's include them niggas in no real music. I say it every week. <laughs> Fucking playing records on Amp yesterday. Some kids like, oh, that's where they got this. Played Otis. Otis Redding. Oh, that's where Kanye got it from. Yeah. Great for you. Now, take that to the lemon tree. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. Uh, I'm not talking to y'all. But you're teaching them. Good. That's what, And that's your responsibility as where you at. You're teaching them. They never would have known this shit had you not cut that amp on. That's why I don't get mad at Silk Sonic. Young niggas don't know nothing about that sound until you hear this. That's why I didn't get mad when Puff flipped all them samples. I don't get mad when Berg flipped all them samples. You're introducing the next generation to some shit that is really old by today's standards. The way how everything moves so fast. They never knew it. So you're teaching. It's all teaching. We all love hip hop. 
I got a part of the show segment. I text dude, his name is Kaz, but I'm going to call him anyway. He ain't hit me back. Just see if he answers. He's got a good question. I'm going to read it to you guys. If he didn't answer the text, he probably won't answer the phone. Probably not. Kaz says, I don't need you, nigga. Hang on. Um, all right, boom, I need a little help. So my girl has a best friend that is a lesbian and is dating a woman. Now, oh, there we go. Now, me and my girl love hanging with them and they love hanging with us. Now, way too often at night after some party favors, they stick around, which we love. But it's obvious that my girl and her best friend would like to get down with each other. And it's also obvious that they want their significant others to be involved as well. See, this is that fight that I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, that's no problem. But the issue comes in with her girlfriend who was a who would have to play a part as well. Just wondering how to maneuver this situation or even if I should. Don't know how to feel about a foursome with a in the room. I'm not closed-minded, just reluctant to jump in. Um, but this problem is common. Mm-hmm. I've <laughs> and, been there. And as a nigga that likes to get a little freaky... <laughs> I totally understand what he's saying. Now, you just got to be a real nigga. She going to have to play the music on the side. No, I've never encountered this particular thing, but I've heard of people having threesomes with a gay couple. Mm -hmm. And both chicks got down with the dude. But it depends on the situation. Yeah, I know. That, he, but he don't know how it's going to play out. Shorty might He's already got... He, he said two he, he two women see. are already involved. Very easy for a man to throw himself in that, which mm-hmm. he can see. Mm-hmm. See, he says he's open-minded. Mm-hmm. The fourth person, uh, Shorty's significant other, mm-hmm. is going to have to find find their way. Mm-hmm. That was a, And uh, you never want to be to find your way person. I think it was in the last pod when you asked last time we had a threesome. Uh, you were like... What happened? Because I talked about yeah, a said, thing that happened. You that was, that was the exact situation. And I declined because I don't want to be in that situation where someone you or both of us that, are going to yeah. be just like awkward. Like At that it's, point, it's probably better to watch or let your partner get their shit off. Yeah. Like everybody don't have to do everything. Especially if you could visibly see, I've been there too, where you can see that your girl and somebody else girl want to fuck. Mm-hmm. And y'all are just there either stopping it or not helping it happen. Right. That ain't the best decision, uh, position I mean, to be in either. Let me, if I understand this correctly, he's saying his girl and her friend, they, wanna, they wanna them fuck. two want to fuck. They want to fuck. And they would like their partners to stick around while they're fucking. They're trying yeah. to get this popping while they're... Yeah, they're trying to have a gangster party. Get like, man. Yeah, but, 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 you got to be careful. Yeah, you do got to be careful. I don't no, no, know no, that no, that I'm means not. gangster party. What I'm saying is just... They might just... You can... You, yo, when two women want to get down, you can see, yo. Mm-hmm. Even oh. if you her boyfriend, yeah. you can tell. He said you, that. And you might yeah. be totally fly he, he with that. that. He yeah, said but that. see, but that's not gangster party. I, I, that's not what I was saying. You can let your girl fuck her friend. Yeah. And you and your uh and you and the other partner just go eat some Pringles. That's and what I was somewhere. getting ready to say. Well, that's not a gangster party. No, no but he I'm said not, Shorty wanted, wanted like them to be involved. Do, they want a gangster party. They yeah. want it all popping off. If they want, didn't, they want their significant say, others in there too. Yes, he did. He said they, he want, said they want their significant others in there as well. He did say that. He said they oh, want, to they, be involved. Yeah, yeah. not present. So, involved. So my thing, so is, they want oh, the gangster no. party. That's not a good time. Yeah, well, it could be, depending they on what your know. situation is, I can see how that would not be hey, a good dogs. time. Oh, this nigga called back. Okay. Yeah. Yo, what's good? You found yourself in quite the pickle, Cass. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, nah, this sounds stressful already. Yeah, yeah, man. It's crazy over here. I've, I've, uh, we've been talking. When you didn't answer the phone, we've been talking about this on air. Now that we have you, let me just ask you. Ask you and I hope if this will get you in trouble, you don't have to answer. Do you want your friends? I mean, do you want your girlfriend's friend's partner to be involved? It sounds like I, no. Yeah, I would rather not. But she cool. <laughs> well, that that's cool. Listen, she could, she could be cool and your dick penis not have to be exposed to her. Uh-huh. So now here's my next question to you. Would you like to be involved? Or are you cool with just playing aside as well? Um, I would like to be, but I could I could play the side for sure. See him him 
wanting to be involved makes it tricky. Yeah, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. That's but the, you, he also plays well, side, he said, though. Do you get any joy out of watching your your girl be satisfied by another woman without you? Yeah. All right, so you've so you, you, you you experienced that, that already. That's, you've yeah, experienced that already. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so y'all play. Okay. For All sure. Right. See, I mean, in Jersey, it was something different. L.A. is way different. Oh, you in L.A.? So, I live in L.A. Okay. Oh, got it. So it gets live. It gets ridiculous. <laughs> You do acid and shit? <laughs> you do acid and shit? No, I don't do I haven't done acid, but I want you know, I do X sometimes, some sassafras. Your girl you know I mean? Your girlfriend don't never come over without her girl? She's literally over here right now, bro. I was getting you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I mean. Wait, without her girl? <laughs> no, just over oh, oh, there. My girl? No, no, no the, point, girl, the, point, no, the friend. Your friend her, your girl's friend. Her partner's not there. No. Oh, Cass, come on, man. I'm talking about my girlfriend. I'm saying my girlfriend is here right now. Oh, oh what oh, about no, no. her well, friend? What about her friend? No, they're not here. Uh, <laughs> they're not do, here. Do the friend ever come without her girl, is what we're saying? Yes. Yes. And y'all ain't never jumped off in the three banger? No. Can't, I, I wouldn't violate like that. Yeah. Wait, see, that's where it gets tricky. Yeah, it does. Violate? Like I would never violate. What's a violation? Why is that a violation? Because well, if because he's if he gets involved with... His friend's girlfriend that's violating. If they if they want to do it's all his or nothing, girl facts. and her friend. Correct. So if Stay her friend on. they're if, all friends. Listen. Stop it. Yeah. If home Kaz and his girl. Yes. Okay. The other girl, not the the not not the yeah, partner. Yeah. Not the know, par- not yeah. the partner. Yo, the other girl could be a real nigga yeah. and step to her relationship and, and say, like, Yo, yo I want to fuck Cass and his girl. Yeah. Yeah, I but don't want it, it you gets, to be a part of that. It gets tricky, but then the but, other but girl she gets does. Tricky. That's the thing. She does want it to be a part of. So it. let me ask you, Cass. Yeah, want, they, I'm, I'm the, the one. one that's, that's let me ask you of, this: yeah. your, your girl's friend, right? Mm-hmm. Not not the one that you referred to by the other name, but your girl's friend. Is she cute? Is she sexy? Is it somebody that you would pop? Yeah, she's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now her girlfriend is she sexy? Is somebody you would pop? No. No. No, she no. Actually, she's the thing cool. is, she is. She's attractive. Okay. But she's just. A Got you. Okay. So you now like, I understand, like in demeanor, nice. like in demeanor. Like she might give you a pound after you fuck. <laughs> no, like, yo, nigga, you did that shit. When I see it, when I see it, when I see it, back out one too. Kiss on the cheek. She's, you know, what I mean, she's a female. She really is a female, but she. It's uh, weird. We'll so would you pop? Huh? Would you hit it? That's not an option, I don't think. Not by myself. I would never just j- jump into Not that. by itself. All right, so why he just can't have a one-on-three fast break? We just was there five minutes ago, and we addressed why he can't have a one-on-three. He's on the phone Oh, one-on-three. No, but we did have one on the phone. No, we did One-on-three. Yeah. He don't want to be with the girl. He just said he <laughs> She probably don't want to be would. with him. He it's said only he, you would bypass what your brain says to just do it. He said he <laughs> would do it, but not alone, is what he said. So who's not yeah. with it? Who's not with it in this scenario? You? Him. Me. Me. Okay. Him. He I'm, I'm would now. do it. But, but it ain't. Wanna... You know what I mean? I'm yeah. with him. I'm with him too. Yeah, it's... I'm Yo, just better Joe. at this than you. I would have got this done. <laughs> Yo, Joe. <laughs> yes? I got a crazy story, bro. Oh, crazier than this? Give, me to, give it to me. Wait, no, it's not crazier than this, but it's nuts that I watch y'all. Because, you know, I'm from North, you know what I mean, and everything. Yeah. And... I remember you was at Dejan house and I was doing the hook for you. Who the fuck is Dejan? <laughs> From the classics. Oh, Dej, classics. Dej, yeah. let's go. Uh-huh. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> and you was doing the hook. <laughs> I was doing the hook and you put your foot on me and I was like, <laughs> you crossed your legs. I was like, hey, move your foot. And it got mad awkward after that. <laughs> they just oh, yeah. It would be similar with. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you. I crossed my legs and my foot. Was I barefoot? No, it was just sneakers on my jeans. Oh, so I was trying to see what's up, nigga. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, that's hilarious. Right, so so shout out to the classics. So Listen. Yo, what's, your, what's your apprehension? Because I'm still kind of yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm lost. Because if he said he would pop, then he said, I don't want to. Yeah, he said fella, he would pop yeah, individually all the girls. So I get where you're I don't at. understand. I get where you're at 100%. 
All right. Basically, let me take a peek out once to make sure. That, uh, <laughs> make, make, make sure the coast, coast is clear. clear. <laughs> you ain't from Newark, fam. You supposed to run the house. No, nah, no, please. But well, nigga, I'm with the arts. I'm from New Hope. <laughs> I'm from New Hope Village, nigga. But listen, the thing is, my girl, her best friend, lesbian girl, both of my girl obviously is attractive. Her girlfriend is attractive. Her best friend is attractive. It's just that her best friend has a girlfriend that I don't want to be involved with in a, in a four way. We, we, no, we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we know that part. All right, so he lied. Oh, so yes. what's the apprehension? Well, because no, you said you would. What they're saying, you, they, you, this is where they lost that. You said you wouldn't sleep with this woman just alone, you and her. So to them, no. that means you would do it in this situation, but you won't. So that's where they're confused. Right. Okay, I would do it in this situation because I mean, I mean, it's the situation. You get what I'm saying? Why well, wouldn't I take that opportunity? Because you don't want to fuck that girl. You don't want to fuck her. But I don't want to. I don't want to fuck that girl. You get so, what I'm saying? That's so then you're I'm not fucking to... anybody. You just got to fuck your girl. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, that's yeah. what it is. You're either gonna do what needs to be done in this situation, or you just fuck your girl, or your girl will fuck her best friend without either of y'all. Mm-hmm. That's, that was the other thing I was thinking. Yeah. it sound like yeah. all, all the three about. girls might get a, a, a three banger without you. No, know, right? no, then you're not. Then you're not real. <laughs> now, if that happens, then you lose the, the slot. I'm machine. losing, yeah. exactly. No, nah, I can't do that. If nah. the three of them get together without you, you know. No, yeah, that's no. bad. That's bad. Yeah, news. that's not happening. That's, that's not happening. happening. It's just looking happening. confused right now. Why? Why? Because we're all adults, and we know that people do things b- behind closed doors that we may not be privy to. We well, talking about, we talking about, we talking about what, what our reaction is once we're privy. Oh, you mean actually cheat on me? Because that's, <laughs> that's cheating. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is cheating. That would be cheating. That is. That's just like, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you, Cass. His girl yeah. and her friend. Yeah, exactly. That, that would be cheating. cheating. Yeah, it's there's a 100% cheating. word for that. If that she does true. that, then... That's cheating. Honestly, real talk, that's cheating, but... I ain't tripping. Yeah, you're not leaving. <laughs> you're not gonna leave. I ain't tripping. Yeah, but y'all gotta let me stay there, film it, do something. Yeah, like Some, I, got, I have on, to bro. play a part. Exactly. So now I'm you've been demoted. Left. If you won't fuck uh, Shorty's girlfriend, you've been demoted to like to just find your way. The cameraman, yeah. I'm good, bro. I'm not too. <laughs> but See, you, I would do that. And he started off saying though that his girl and the other girl want to fuck. I would do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and. So you, know you know gonna get like, down or lay down, niggas? Or something gonna happen? Or you just sleep with your girl? <laughs> I can't or listen, you fine. and and you know the, your girl's friend partner? The two of y'all go dip off and let them two fuck. If y'all was real, yeah, or that. That's all. Huh? Yo, come you know on, let's go grab I, a beer y'all, somewhere. Y'all actually come on, my nigga, let's go. Conclusion. Y'all actually made me come to the conclusion that I'm being a bitch. So yo, cash up us a dollar too. <laughs> Cash yo, out I, us a yo, dollar. I give y'all fifty, nigga. I give y'all fifty every That's true. Time. That's true. He got a good point. Hey, got a point. Hey, got a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, with that new information, you'll try to close the deal before twenty twenty three. Oh no, it's definitely happening before twenty twenty three. It might be happening this weekend. So the one on three fast break. No, it's a two yeah. on two. No, yeah, it's, it's a two, 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 two on two. two. Yeah, it's so a one on three, three nigga. It's a two, two on two. two. Unless, Honestly, I don't. You know, that's bro, a pressurized honestly, situation to be. It is. 100%. It is. It's a confusing situation. I might. Ha- I don't know what I might have to do, bro. I was there before, bro. <laughs> I don't know if it's a one on three or a two on. That's two. not a one on three. If you was mad at my foot on your leg, nigga, you might not be built for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she pull out the, the thing, jumbo bro. strap. Yeah. Yeah. What happened when she back out? When she pull out the jumbo strap and start tearing your thing down? <laughs> yeah. Now you standing over here in the cut. You watching her? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is talking about. What happened when she back out? What is it? stay hard, too. <laughs> well, Kaz, well, Kaz said he's open-minded, so he'll go into Hey, this. Kaz, if Shorty pull out the... Uh, <laughs> All right, y'all want... Don't. That, two, that 13, John? That 13, <laughs> You heard him. <laughs> you heard him. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's open. We're all this, leaving. No, this is what we're set up leaving. No, we leaving. This is all my room. Everybody leaving. Just clean my room, make my bed. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving. You back that out, dog. Uh, I'm fine, man. I ain't got no competition. I'm not competing, bro. Yo, Sorry, Kaz, bro. don't you go in there unless Shorty outdick you. <laughs> oh, hey, man, Kaz, I you better no stop choice. by the gas station. Fam, you got to go to the gas station. You better go to the little sex store, get yeah. that little, get something with the remote, <laughs> bring some help. Yo, listen, man, oh, I take man. trips. So I got the juice, nigga, from DR, Columbia, all that shit. I'm set. I don't but even that know what that is. I don't know what to do with that. It ain't, uh, it ain't, it ain't he, ain't, he ain't say Brazil. 
<laughs> you ain't get your shit from the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got your shit from I know how them little fifteen Kana. dollar joints play around. <laughs> got my all that. Yo, oh, yo, Cass, man. I want to update on this. Word. Yeah. Like this is this is one of my favorite questions. I want to update uh as soon as you get the yeah. job done. You said you're going Hit to us back. get some Memorial when y'all Day back mayhem. We y'all coming to LA. We not. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? Ticketmaster just sent me my bread. So yeah, 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 no, we we sent them refunds out. Ice getting too much Twitch money. I'm getting too much Amazon money. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't about to I hit really the road. Leave right now. Yo, it was a tough decision. Get paid from home <laughs> or or hit or the come road. Back this I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, yeah. Now when I go out there, it'll just be for something else. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But I, I play you. like but that. Listen, I play like this type of fun y'all talking about. Now. Not you. Oh no. Huh? Are you shitting me? Who not who? Let me tell you something. Not Mister Six. Bro, I swear. Not that, I wish y'all came out here. Y'all could have went to karaoke. It goes up, and y'all would clean up. No, I fuck after karaoke. You kidding me? <laughs> Are you shitting exactly. me? I know what that <laughs> karaoke do. When I hit that Carl Thomas. <laughs> yeah, no, I do Carl Thomas. I'm the singer, bro. I do the Carl Thomas. Over hey. The song and yeah, he flirt with me. I'm out of here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Cass, we appreciate you. Thank you, and good luck. Yo, please hit us back and let us know what happened. Yeah, word. Good luck. For sure. We'll do, bro. Yeah, good luck. Bro. Our guy. Have a good one. All right, peace. 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 Gonna get yeah, it's tricky. That's a tricky Memorial situation. Memorial Day mayhem okay. going on. Yeah, he could do it. He could do it Memorial Day. All right. Yeah. It yeah. could happen. He said it. Uh, yep This just in uh, We have to end with this really sad news 14 students and a teacher are dead After a shooting at Robb Elementary School In, I can't pronounce this Uvalde Uvalde, U- Uvalde. Uvalde Texas The 18 year old suspect A student at Uvalde High School Is also dead He shot and killed horrifically and incomprehensibly 14 students And killed a teacher this is disgusting, yo. Look, look, Suspect also What's allegedly up? shot his grandmother before entering the school and again opening fire. He did not say anything further about her condition. Abbott said the shooter had a handgun and also possibly a rifle. Yo, rest in peace to the people that yes. lost their lives in this mess. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is nasty, and it seems to be even more frequent <laughs> than what we've been used to, right? Talk, um, the, the days in between mass shootings are getting shorter and shorter. Sometimes mm-hmm. we get in two in a day. You're shooting elementary school kids. We did. We right. didn't touch on one of the shootings last mm-hmm. week. Yeah, yeah. We didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh this is nuts. Uh, my heart was heavy over the weekend. Uh, uh, the Baltimore or during Baltimore, the week. No, no. Well, yeah, of course, but no, in in New York. The train, the subways. Oh, yeah. Somebody just went up to somebody uh, oh, and yeah. shot him in the head. Mm-hmm. Shot a dude in the head. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, yo. You know how many people we know that just get on the subway but and go to work? I won't. I won't. Go yeah. ahead. No, they said that dude, the one, the shooter mm-hmm. in New York, everybody knows him. Like, he just be wandering around the, that particular subway all the time. Like, uh-huh. he just is always... You know how you, if you take the yeah. train, mm-hmm. it'll always somebody. be a homeless yeah. guy or somebody there that you just kind of get familiar in seeing? Mm-hmm. He was that guy. I and think, just I think that, and this is without fact-checking and research, I think that that the subway system generates entirely too much money for the city and the state for them to not put some type of metal detectors or chips in the turnstiles where mm-hmm. you could identify some screens. This is, this happens too frequently now. Mm-hmm. Same with, same with the schools, by the way, it's a yeah. same, same with school. It's elementary school money. Yeah, but we got to do it at Yo. the schools. I mean, if you want me to be frank, that's probably the first place you should do it. School protecting the kids, yeah. the kids. Oh, and we was bugging out over saying they should do it at supermarkets. They should just have them in America. Yeah. <laughs> it's just even up us to be there to where you have to make that statement. Yeah, me, the where just, we are in society that mm, you gotta have a metal detector in an elementary school be is crazy. What's the next hospital? You absolutely you know right. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like You absolutely right. You absolutely right. Yeah. Um prayers out to everybody involved in 100%. that. One hundred percent. And I'm sure details will continue to pour yeah, in about will. the story as it's this just, is breaking just breaking. Yeah, yeah. We this is breaking. Just breaking. breaking. Hate to end the pod this way. Um uh, but yeah, prayers, thoughts, rest in peace. Horrible way to learn about loved ones going. Kids. Mm-hmm. And we all got kids. You go to the school. 
Yo, even when you go pick up your kid from school, some of the parents that you might not fuck with when their kid come out, you just be smiling and happy mm-hmm. for them. Like, you like kids. Mm-hmm. That's kids, man. Home to your family. Like, it's just fucking craziness. Yo, man, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. And 100. Life is a series of moments, and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Our prayers are with everybody in Texas. The families of the people that lost their lives out there. I hate when they do that and then kill themselves, y'all. I don't like that. Cowardly. Coward. Until the next time, remember the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol, you might need it. Shout out to everybody going on vacation this weekend. Do remember, we will not be at work next Wednesday. There will be no power. I will be shaking my ass somewhere.